Now, they asked the question, do black men protect black women? And he said, basically, which a lot of people might ask the question is, well, what do you mean by protect? What's, what's the definition are we going by? That was it. That was on his neck from there. What do you mean protect? You know what protect is? Uh, be careful about the voice you're doing to impersonate these black women. I think it, and also with that, it's, it's the capacity of the situation because they will say black men don't support or look after or care for black women. It's the capacity. What what subject matter, what scenario are you talking about? Well, this if, is why you asked the question. And that's what I'm asking. What what would the capacity? The, yeah. the answer is you should know. You, you should know, bro. Yeah. You should, you should know. Don't ask stupid questions. Neck, As, Keen heels on your but neck. But then that's, that's when problems arise because you say, oh, you should know. But if we don't know, and well, not they, for the they, fact they, that they, we're being they, ignorant they, or we're stupid, we actually don't know. If, if your woman went off and did something crazy and you didn't actually know why she was doing what she was doing and you said, why are you being like that for? What, you don't know? You don't know why I'm angry? This is why I'm angry. But yeah, but I didn't know because you didn't explain that to me. You just went off at the handle bruh, and expected bruh, me to have your bruh, back. It, it was bruh, that actor bruh. and Big Wahala that are impersonating black women with <laughs> every voice. Bruh. Simple let, Simon and Stavros let, have not done it yet. Let me tell you. <laughs> yet. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you. Emphasis on yet. Let, let me tell you something. It could happen. Yeah. It didn't matter what he said. He was going to get it. Yes, 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 yes. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, welcome to Eloquently Say Nothing, the podcast, episode number 83. I am a very vex Stavros boss, hashtag ESN pod, and at ESN podcast on all your social medias. In the room with me tonight, I have other vex faces looking at me, one of them being Simple Simon. I've got an interjection. Go on. You missed out the rodents and small He, he did, but we don't care about them for today. <laughs> So I'm gonna say, roll out with me at Ted Cleek. Now if I hide from the sun, car gangster on a bleach, bleach. Roll out in the at Ted Street. Girl, they want to do good dog because them said we look nin 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 neat. Simple Simon's in the building. At Simple Simon FB on Twitter. Get at me. Is that what the lady asked for? Yaga, 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 yaga. Gangster on a bleach. All right, well, um, I hope you enjoyed that. You good? Is that a direct this at Cartel? Yes. Okay. All right. Okay, we also have Big Wahala. At Big Wahala on Twitter, at Big Wahala on Insta. Looking like people? creme brulee. Mark. Those good people. And we have that actor. Do you know what I think? I think we're all in our own private traps. We're cramped in. We scratch and we claw at the air and even at each other. And for all of that, we never get out. We never even budge an inch. What's going on, people? It's your boy to act him up in the building. I haven't heard or seen from you in a while. How are yeah, we doing, people? It's true, you know. You Both of you weren't here last week, innit? Mod. Yeah. You know what? Let's go on by what's... At the actor on uh, Instagram and Twitter. Yes, it is indeed. Go on by what much. Stav just said about him being vexed before the podcast, which nobody actually cares about. <laughs> um, <laughs> do you, did any of you lot catch the candid conversations? Uh, episode... Two was it episode two? It's episode three. Episode three. The latest one was episode three. Yeah, yeah. So about that. about uh, do, do black men protect black women? And there was another t- uh, topic uh, as well. Black privilege. Black male privilege. Black male privilege. Did you watch it? Yes. All right, Tops, so. man. Stop explaining yourself. Stop explaining yourself to these people. Yeah, man. Like this is what happened. This is why. Don't explain yourself, man. Tops, right? We love the smoke. We love the smoke. Well done. Well done. Well done. First and foremost, Tops. Let me say. Congratulations, you are a fantastic host. You are doing very well as a host. Yeah, man, you're and almost I, as good as me. Yeah, well done, well and done. I, and I salute you on that, yeah? Salute you on that. I think that you're doing very well. Definitely. Two, you could see that something had happened before that before that show that came on. You could sense it. I already knew something had happened before as that show just by watching it. Yeah, yeah, of course. Because you could see that a, a numerous amount of people in there were already angry at each other before anybody even opened their mouth to speak. Yeah. I actually didn't get around to finishing it. I was, it. My internet connection went dodgy on my You know YouTube is because they're trying to push this YouTube music thing, man. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's like they messed up my normal YouTube because I'm not taking a free trial of the thing. So it just actually started crumpling, crumpling, crumpling and I, I didn't end up watching it but I would definitely finish watching it. I like the hair one which I'm just not going there. But, so you must have to flesh it out, the ones that did watch it, and explain to the masses what's going on. This is Candid Conversations we're talking about, which is uh, Simply Tops' uh, video. Sincerely Tops. Sorry. Sincerely Tops' um, 
Oh, what, what do you call these things? What, 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 what it, cast, I guess? Yeah, vodcast, I would say. Um, so it's on YouTube, so I'll seek that out. In fact, I'll subscribe and all that. Yeah, I'll make that my uh, Star Wars uh, today. Are you confused about vodcast? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, go on. The video cast, isn't it? Yeah, so why is it vod? V. It's more like a vlog. That's what they call um, podcasts on video. They call them vodcasts. Oh, right. Okay. So, uh, that's, uh, I think so, anyways. Or vlogs. Or am I of thinking, vlogs. Or am I thinking video logging. Vlog. Well, okay, I don't Either know. Either way, man, it's it, on no, YouTube. Because yeah. it's not a vlog, is it? Because it's not just me talking we to the camera. We always mess up people's promotion, man. It's, it's there, not it's messing up. The Daily Tops is there. Go check it out on, on the YouTube Candid Conversation. But, yeah, episode three was the, com- was the topics that we just mentioned. And um, the guys that watched it are going to discuss what happened before they discuss what happened. So people actually understand what okay, happened. Okay, so there's a, a, a panel. I think there's about seven girls. If sound like that. Yeah, least. roughly. Simple. Always sounds better than me on the mic, you know. Seven girls and um, That's two man them. And two man them was there, yeah? I think one of the guys' name was Chibs or some Chids. 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 And the other guy's name is Swizz. Is it Swizz or are they? He, well, he's he's... It's Twitter, David Swiss. Okay. He's the one that disagreed with all the women, in it? He agreed with them, yeah. Capitulate. But do you let me tell you something about him, yeah? Let me give, let me give. Wow. <laughs> Isn't he the one that... Um, is, that is that the beef one? That's one, the one that they all got on. The on great, grapevine, isn't it? Yeah, the one that's on grapevine and they all attacked later on. Let me tell you something about this guy, actually. I'll tell you later because he... he right, because the Chids guy, they, basically he started talking and as soon as he started talking, the girls was on his neck, Yeah. Before they started talking. Immediate. Before he started talking. Immediately. So that's when I knew something had happened beforehand. So the discussion originally became with, do black men protect black women? Now they asked the question, do black men protect black women? And he said, basically, which a lot of people might ask the question is, well, what do you mean by protect? What's, what's the definition are we going by? That was it. That was on his neck from there. What do you mean protect? You know what protect means? Uh, be careful about the voice you're doing to impersonate these black women. Bye. Because why you mean it? they're gonna say you know why are you impress why are you, why is that black women what, when what, it was him he was very calm sorry I was, oh what how what is it you're talking about how, how, do we, like how do we define uh, you know no, because they were, and they then were, when it comes they to women, like, what do you mean la, 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 what do you mean la, 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 la. can, I, you can I just say this is our third week we've known about this from before it started we knew about the promo we all follow it on social media so we knew about it we, we were even promoting it ourselves yeah. Now, this episode has about 10 times more views than the last two episodes. It was trending, man. Yeah. And we're talking about it when we didn't talk about the last two. Although I did, in fact, I've already given a, um, a Stavros a shout Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have sure. Okay, sorry. I already have. So I have, I actually have actually spoken about it. But why is it when the beef episode comes? No, we spoke about it last that's week. That's when we're talking about it. But it's trending. It was trending this week. Go on, big up yourself, Tops. Because trending. Because of the, the cheese guy. Anyway, go on, go on. So anyway, so there was on his neck. What do you mean? What do you mean by protection? What do you mean you don't know what you mean? So he was like, I'm just asking the question, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, it was on his neck. So they were gunning him from there. They were, what well, not even, let me say gunning him. Let me, let me say, <laughs> let me, let me say Yvette did, did what I like to call the Yvette special. Yvette wasn't shouting and screaming at him, but you could see from the tone of her voice, she was not happy with this guy. Yeah? So Is that the definition of passive aggressive then? Maybe I don't understand passive aggressive, but maybe I think that's what it is. Isn't I, it? I, f- I think she handled it quite well, though. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm calmly. I don't, I, don't, angry. I don't know what I don't know what she was handling because I don't know what happened beforehand. I don't, I don't <laughs> because he didn't go at her. He didn't go out on on the show. Yeah, but I, what, I'm, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is because I got the impression, um, and maybe because we know her to some in some capacity as well. Mm. I got the impression that she was quite upset. She was quite upset. You could see in her eyes she's quite, quite upset. upset. Big up her vet. She used to be on, on the low podcast. Yes. But she's still on, on the low podcast. I don't know what's going on that hiatus That's and all that. Well, I don't know what's going on. She's been on the hiatus. And she's done a, a lot. She's done a lot of work. Yeah, in, she's in, been on Grapevine. Yeah, big up big up her vet anyway. We've got time for her vet. So I could see that from the little pointers that I know. I know that she was she was infused, incensed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could see that she was angry. Yeah. But the, what I liked about it is that she was Channeling her anger but, to ask questions. That's why I said that's what I said to you. Yeah, I, she was channeling her anger well. to ask questions. But you could see that if, if she could catch him on, on the street alone, she might have snapped him in the neck. I don't know what happened beforehand, but you could sense that if those two was married, she, he would not have got food that night from her. Put it that way. Oh, so you think it was uh, her that had the problem with him? I think it was her. And it was, it was definitely her. Because the, one, the one that's sitting next to him as well? Yeah, those two. But it was definitely a vet because after, you, may, you might not have got to the point where she goes, well, when you was being disrespectful before. To, 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 before to all of us girls, was that protecting us? And then he goes, he goes explaining to her, I was disrespecting you. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't disrespecting black women. I was disrespecting you. I kind of, so, I think I saw that as a cutout. Yeah, as a cutout. So I'm assuming that it was the, she was involved in the in whatever problem was between okay, the two okay. of them. All right. Well, let's let's not talk 
dwell too much on yeah, the Yeah, I don't want to spoil the, the thing. The so go and watch it anyway, but I don't want to spoil it. So anyway, there was on his neck. But the thing I was actually saying is that you could sense the atmosphere before the, the you know, before they even started talking, there was an atmosphere there. And even, it wasn't just those two as well. There was another girl that was there that you could see was also not happy with this guy. Yeah, yeah. I don't, she had a tattoo on her chest. I can't, I, that's the only way I can describe it. But she was also not how was happy her, with this guy. How was her hair? That's the way I would know. It was long. It, it probably was, was a head. It was long. It was long. Okay, I know who you're talking about. What do you, all right, what, what, what are we talking about here? But you, you want to say that you, you, if you were there, you would have done a better, better job in it? No, no, that's not the case. It would have happened. It would have been would've. better that way. But <laughs> anyway, that's not the case. When I was watching, I was thinking, if Wahala was on this panel right here, this, this would have been so I would up. love to hear what you would have said because I want to see if he capitulates like, like my man. Why would I capitulate? I said I would want to see if no, the other did. guy. The other guy didn't capitulate. He actually, he was, he was held his own. He did say what he, he said, you know, he, he, when he talked about the black male privilege, he said, well, there are privileges that males do I, get. I, I don't want to care about the black male privilege. It's a bit about the protecting the black women. Well, I don't know what he, I kind of actually don't really remember what he said. I'll rest my case. But he didn't say anything bad. <laughs> he said that in, the other guy was, I don't I, remember what me he personally, said. Me really. personally, all right, this is Stavros. I would have asked the question as well. What is it we're specifically talking about? Because I know I could, I could uh, defend my mum, my sister, this my friend, my, yeah. my niece, my daughter, my wife, um, friends, people that I know, loads, loads of black women there. Yeah? And then somebody uh, says something on social media that I gun her for. And then let's say that trends. And everyone's saying, well, you're attacking this black woman. And I could hold my hands up and say, well, in this case, potentially, yes. And then they say, well, you don't defend black women or you don't support black women. And I say, no, this one person is an individual. And I, me as an individual, had a go at this individual. That is not bracketing all women. And it's not encapsulating my whole life on my interactions with black women. Just so happens this woman, whether she's black, white, yellow, brown, I had an issue with and I took it out of her or on her, sorry. And then that blew up and everyone saw that. Yeah, so you don't necessarily see all the things I do in private. That's what I would have kind of said as well. I would have said, look... If you're asking me, do black men protect black women? I would have said, maybe in their personal relationships, they may protect the women that's close to them. I think that that's okay. And every other black woman is for them for themselves. And that's probably what black men do think. Yeah, I can protect my mum. Yeah, I'll protect my sister. But every other girl, why do I need to protect them? And that's probably what I would, that's what I would have gone and said. So if you're saying, does black men protect black women on the whole? Probably not. Do black men protect the women that they think is personal to them, to, for them to be the protection? Probably yes. Is it would it be better if all black men felt um, thought of saying um, they know that they should protect all black women? P- potentially yes, of course it should be better. But even if it, even if it was to the point where all black men did actually look after the black women that's in their lives, then a lot of the black women would have feel like they've been protected. So it's obviously a case somewhere that black women, black women aren't being protected by black men, especially as the fact that black men are are there's a large proportion of black men that leave their children and leave their daughters on their own. So for, so, me, for me, I would have again. So this is why. I, f- I had to watch it and I was like, hold on a minute, why are they getting at him like that? Because I would have asked a similar question about... There, there was nothing what, wrong with his question. Yeah, what, 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 what do we mean by protection? But then after the conversation went on, I, they they said, you know what we're talking that about. Is, yes, they kept saying... You know what we're talking about. And I didn't get the... I didn't get their definition of what they were talking about. But at the same time, the, the example that came to my mind is how many protests have been started by men for the purpose of women, black women, and that's that's another thing. So when they're talking about in the general masses, so I was thinking, I was thinking in social media world, no, you don't really see black men, nope. black women. I would say that in social media world, I would, I would say that. You, I would say again, it goes back to what I'm saying about like picking and choosing what you see or what you happen to see. Because yes, black men, if if a woman pops up and a woman is there potentially to be attacked. 50 black men might attack her and 50 black men might defend her. What you'll see is black men attacking a woman and that would be the narrative of that situation. Potentially. There's bare men that would have protected her. Or, <laughs> sorry, I don't like the word protect. There's bare men that would have stood up for the woman and uh, vouched for her or said, you know, let's not go out. There would be. I can't, definitely. Uh, hold on. I kind of agree with you on that, but I would say it's probably 50 men pot- attacking, 25 men protecting and another 25 that just ignore it. Yeah, right, it's not my business. Let's stick with that. Mm. Right, so that's what I would say. The only thing I would say. Whereas I'll say that if, if it was the reverse with regards to women and men, in, depending on what type of situation it is, you may have 50 black women protecting the man, <laughs> another 10 uh, attacking the man, and another 40, 30 or 40 that, that's none of my business. But you will see a lot of women protecting. Can I ask you this question then? Because I think it doesn't matter what race it is, it'll be the same ratio. Whatever ratio we decide that is with black people, I don't think it's any different with any other race. That's my thing. So are we comparing it because it's black on black so i what black women do for black men or are we doing it 
comparing black to other men. No, but so is it black? Well, white people, uh, Chinese people, sorry, Oriental people, East Asian no, people. You, 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 you made it worse. I, I still have no issue until somebody explains what the issue is with that. You're from the Orient. Unless that, that's a derogatory term that I'd, uh, somebody needs to explain uh, uh, it to that's me. Col- that's colonialism, isn't it? That that it's Orient East thing, Asia. Yeah. It's East Asia because because uh, the, the 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 British and all that call, okay. it, call it the Orient. All right then. So I'll stick with colors then: brown, yellow, <laughs> fuck my life, black, uh, red. <laughs> On if the I just, spectrum, I just, yeah, I just think you every, are yellow. Each color does Looking that. Looking like a creme brulee. <laughs> each, each color does it. So are you saying that um, you're comparing me to another color, or you're comparing me to what a woman does? I'm for me depends I, on the color of the woman. I, I think what, they were what, comparing it black men to black women. Yes, that's, that's what, what I think the comparison was with regards to that. The yeah, black, yeah, in that specific, in that specific yeah, thing, yeah, I think it was comparing my thing also is women. why do we always have to. Uh, say that we don't think it happens in other communities or whatever when we're talking about ours. Why do we always have to say, oh, you know, I, I think that this, it's probably the same in, in the white community. Because the media doesn't expose other communities as much as they expose us. Yeah, but w- the media doesn't really expose ours. We expose ours. I would say the minute yeah, you bring race into it. Sorry, let you talk. I would say we do that because of media. Media feeds us to feed them back. So they'll make they'll open up the narrative and we'll feed we'll fall into it and say yeah but as black people we do this and we do. oh so really as black people you kind of just fuck up yourselves don't you but we give you we give you the ammunition to do it I don't know I don't know if I I don't know if I feel what you're saying there to be honest with you because the way I see the media has the negative picture that they paint of black people period and they don't really care whether you're a black man or a black woman as long as you're black. You have the same level of criminality. Criminality. Exactly. Yeah. So they so, they feed the narrative and we buy into it. Y- it's yeah, very but, rare for us to say, No, you're wrong in a passive way. We'll say it in an angry way. Yeah, but again, again, I don't care about that. We we have every right to say it in an angry way. We are angry. Um Yeah, but, but then again, we're feeding into the stereotype. Black people are generally angry. Yeah, but I you know what? I you're angry bastard. I don't mind feeding into the stereotype because when you actually look at things for what they actually are. Yes, black people can be and black people can be angry all the time. Yeah, we can, and we can because we've got a reason to. And if it comes to a point, if it comes to a point I'm where sorry. we have to do a show and prove, mm. we can show and prove with metrics, with historical data, why you would be angry. But then why not do it in a passive way instead of an angry way? Yeah, but why do I have to now be told how to deliver my anger? When when uh, when when a, a white person is furious that a black person is selling lemonade on the side of the street, how comes there's no there's no uh, dialogue about why they've um, there is plenty of dialogue. Think about no, it. about about why she has done it in such an angry manner. We don't talk about her being angry for doing it. That's because we don't talk we do. about it like that. Yes, we do. In, not in, not that, in that not, is the whole the, not in narrative. the way that the media will portray it as exactly. you guys are right because she was being angry and she shouldn't have been angry. Yeah, Remember, the media don't care about I us fully in that way. I so fully disagree. What I'm saying you don't you think the media cares about black people? No, no, of course they don't. But what I'm saying is that is portrayed as the the, 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 the white woman that's going at these you know, black children for doing something, being uh, young entrepreneurs, and they get, they're get being passive-aggressive or aggressive or putting these children's lives at risk by calling the police when they know the police might do any any kind of whatness. Yeah, so that the, is being portrayed no, that's a descri- by blacks and by the media. That's the description of the action. They're not describing her uh, her mode. Like, if she's screaming on the phone or what have you, they're not saying, oh, why is she so angry or why is she so aggressive? That is strictly reserved for black people and black women in particular. Sorry, I just missed. I'm also, I was with the cold toilet. What happened? <laughs> you, can't, you can't ask that question yeah man. we heard you bro um, you can't ask that question so I'm just saying that I would I would have asked the question taking it back to the original thing what is it we're dis- talking about to actually answer the question I think we, well, we did we said that some do and some don't and it. I think it more depends I think it depends on who you ask no but also with that the more, think- more level headed the person is and this sounds bad a woman I think the less chance you'll get of her saying um, uh, black men don't. I think it, and also with that, it's, it's the capacity of the situation because they will say black men don't support or look after or care for black women. It's the capacity. What what subject matter? What scenario are you talking about? Well, this if, is why you asked the question, and that's what I'm asking. What what would the capacity? The, yeah. the answer is you should know. You, you should know, bro. Yeah, you should, you should know. Don't ask stupid uh, questions. Neck, I As, said. Kicking heels on your but neck. But then that's that's when problems arise because you say oh you should know but if we don't know and well, not they, for the they, fact they, that they, we're they, being they, ignorant they, or we're stupid we actually don't know if, if your woman 
went off and did something crazy and you didn't actually know why she was doing what she was doing. And you said, why are you being like that for? What, you don't know? You don't know why I'm angry? This is why I'm angry. But yeah, but I didn't know because you didn't explain that to me. You just went off at the handle bruh, and expected me bruh, to have your bruh, back. It, it was bruh, that actor bruh. and Big Wahala that are impersonating black women with <laughs> every voice. Bruh. Simple let, Simon and Stavros let, have not done it yet. Let me tell you. <laughs> yet. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you. Emphasis on yet. Let, let me tell you something. It can happen. Yeah. It didn't matter what he said. He was going to get it. He could have gave them all money and said, you know what? As black men, we don't protect black women. Here's a million pound each. And they would have said, Why are you giving a million pound for? I'm a whore. Is that you trying to pay my silence? That's what he would have said to him because they were not happy with him. So essentially, we can't win no matter no, what. No, 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 we. Whoa. Him. He, oh, him. <laughs> Just him. <laughs> he, he was getting it regardless what happened that day because of whatever discussion they had beforehand. But he was getting it. I'm also. So, like I said, the example that I came with in the end was how many protests or what have you have been. Or me, black male led and have well the Black Lives Matter movement had that that guy in it with the best no, no but black, it wasn't led by a black man the Black Lives Movement was yeah, but led he was, by women he was, he was heavily involved in okay it. No, he, it, was it was started by, it, was it was started it was started by women uh, um, LGBT community specific as well and then okay the guy was involved as well is a man in it yeah okay he's a and, guy and he's an LGBTQ man as well okay that's fine but what I'm saying to you is on mass. So that's one example that we can all pull off of our heads straight away. Okay, so that's recent. But we, you, but I, nobody argued with you when you said how many. No, well, Hala said, yeah, but Hala said okay, it don't what happen. I'm saying, what I'm saying is, no, but hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm, what I'm saying is that's the essence of the question that we were asking. No, but we don't I know. Think, but men don't, do this, think. men don't do this in general. This is what I'm saying. It's, it's not, so this is why I think it's a bit re- reductive just to take it down to black men. No, no, it's, no. It's, it's, men don't do it. No, no, no. I won't even say that because it's how many... Um, them leaders, those black male leaders that go around and does stuff for in you know in America anyway, not maybe not in the UK. Yeah, they go. I'm assuming they must do some of these marches for some women for some stuff. Uh, maybe there's. The, I, so get, I, get, I that. get the impression that when women issues come up, women are the heads of women issues. Yeah, and the what? And, and, and also, and when, 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 when black men issues come, come up, they, women are the head of the black. If a black man gets shot tomorrow, yeah, I think that you have the men, the men leaders may come out and do the protest and I think they may still do it for women I just don't know for me the, the question is in, in that regard in that regard I think it doesn't I, I think more on a personal term if a black woman is saying that you know I don't feel protected by black men around me in my circumference in my borough in my area in then, I, then, then I can I can in my circle I can live I can understand that more so than when big things happen black men don't step up to the plate and start the revolution because I don't because if that's just not the case then it's just not the case if you get what I mean? If it just so happens that it happens to be uh, women, whether, regardless of whether they're black or... Let's, in fact, let's stick with black. I don't want to upset anybody. If it happens to be that black women are the ones that spearhead movements, full stop, whether it be because they're protecting men or women, then let's just say, potentially, that black women seem to be the ones that spearhead these movements. Well, they are, but then they're asking for the backup, isn't it? No, so, I don't think black men don't back up. So that, if they're having that well, argument, if you're having I'll, that discussion... I, if I was finished, then you, you didn't have to argue with it. Go on, go on, finish. Go on. Because you did cut me off, by the way. But go on. This is Karen. Then. No, go on. No, because it's, it's no, because go on. You cut somebody off, and then what I'm talking. Stop playing this game of tennis. <laughs> okay, I'll just wait for him. Like a creme brulee, mad. I mean, with with whatever movement comes about, whether it's black, white, whatever the color spectrum is, both men and women stand up for each other. It's just the amount, the amount on either side. Whether it's more men that stand up. Or more women that stand up. We both do it, but it's just a, the, the the amount, the number. I'm not. I'm not. Listen. All right. I'm being the advocate, and I'm saying to you that that was an all lives matter response. It, it's an all. It could be an all lives matter response. Man, the men don't necessarily stick up for women as much as they would stick up for another men. But um, even in that situation in that program, there was, and I kind of I knew that was gonna pop up, and I knew they were gonna say it, and when they did, I was like, I knew it was gonna happen. When the the girls were talking to him again. They were being aggressive to the guy. So mm. that's probably why he had his backup and wasn't listening to them, really. But he was listening to them, but, you know, he wasn't really responsive to them. But when the other guy spoke, he listened to him and he was responsive to the other guy. And they're like, see, when he spoke, you listened to him, you responsive, was responsive to him and, you know, you heard what he was saying, but he's basically saying what we're saying. And it was like, the guy was still, still perplexed. Like, well, I don't even know what you're talking about. But he kind of did. But the reason, <laughs> the reason could go back to the fact that these, some of the girls, not all of them, what on his neck? But so it's, it was it's, like it doesn't listen to them. It's really. like you said, we don't know what happened before it started airing. Yeah. So whatever problem the women had with that individual carried through the, yeah, the episode. Through into the episode. But we don't know what the, the issue was before that. So everything looked like it was on him and we don't even know why. I know he I I, I got a feeling he, he did something. 
Yeah, he probably did I, something to offend them. I, no, could have oh, someone. I, a long the time other ago. guy kind of alluded that he did do something. Back. Later on in Twitter, he was like, yeah, "Well, if you're gonna go and do something like that, then yeah, you're gonna get the smoke." So I don't know what he did, he, but he must have said something that was offensive. In I get the impression he said something that I would have said. <laughs> I just get the impression that if I was in that but same situation, but you're offensive to many people, apparently, even to look at. That's why you get blocked all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Man gets blocked weekly now. But do you realize that I don't ever get blocked when I'm actually being rude? I just get blocked when I give you facts. I don't know. Nobody want to read I'm, no I'm facts. I'm not really preying you like that. Still. Okay, still. true, true, true. But <laughs> I, I, I get blocked not when I'm being insult. I don't actually insult people on Twitter. So okay. uh, yeah. I don't insult people not like with with uh, viciousness. Not like your your mom or you know look at your look at your face. You or mean stuff you like don't that. directly insult? No, I mean I'm not like. Um, insulting if you say something that's nonsense I could say that statement is a nonsense such and such and such it, you, maybe you might read it like I'm being like vicious but I'm just making what I feel is a is a calm statement about your statement a lot of times I pull people up on why I think personally I think what you're saying is incorrect and these are the reasons why I usually give the reasons why because I like to shut down the argument and then when I don't get an argument what I get is blocked and that's the point because nobody wants to hear you okay well, they don't have to hear me. They're, they're right. Yeah, but in the end, they want to. People on Twitter want to make a statement, and they don't want to back it up. They just want to make the statement, and get away. the retweets, mm. get the likes, and walk away. They don't want people to actually question. The they don't want to. They don't want to engage in that conversation. They, don't, they do not. They you. do not appreciate a dissection. We of, come from a society now where everyone's right. No, not even everyone's right. We come from a, what's the problem? The fridge. I am not cutting that. Up. Yeah, why not? We come from a society now where um. Slack it. Where basically you're not allowed to tell people that they they're wrong, and you're not allowed to question people, and you're not allowed to tell them this is not correct. This is the problem I have with life. I've been saying this this whole season, or since since I've been more prominent with Twitter. Since we started season two, I've got heavy into Twitter, and I see it. People people can't have opinions, and somebody else have a difference of opinion, and you have to just have a discussion about it. Let's talk about why I feel I'm right and why you feel you're right. And let's talk about our differences and either come to some middle ground or one of us agree with, with, you know, change views or something. I feel, I want to do that. And I just feel that people don't want to do that. I don't feel that's, there's, there's no growth in saying I'm right, you're wrong, and I'm not willing to listen to what you're saying. For your a lot of, of it, it's too much work for people to have that discussion. They just want, you're right, cool, carry on. What's the next one I can be right about? Mm. The, um, I was talking to Ola, the, the photographer. She well, was on the, that was on the show a couple of weeks ago still. And um, we were talking, creative. Yeah, we were talking about... Um, Basically, I, somebody had tweeted and said, and I kind of, I agree with this girl. She said, look, listen, this thing about white men don't respect, disrespect black women. I mean, don't dis- disrespect white women um, narrative. I don't know because I don't know any white men enough to say whether or not they do disrespect white women. I just know black men. And that's why I, I can say that black men do disrespect black women. But I know that I can't tell you that white men don't. So I don't know why we just all go around saying that white men don't do it. So then I, I must have come on and said, you know, white men do disrespect white women all the time. The difference is they just say women. They don't say white women because they don't even acknowledge all the rest of the women when they're talking about women. They just mean white. When they say women, they just mean white women. So when they're saying this woman needs to go to the kitchen and, and, and you know, be a dishwasher or whatever, they talk about they're white women. They're not talking about the Asian women. They ain't talking about black women. They, ain't talking about, they don't care about you lot. They care about white women and that's who they're referring to. So anyway, I said that and then um, all I came on and said, look, the difference, what, what I think they're speaking about is the fact that white men don't go out of their way and say stuff like, I won't date a white woman because they're this. I won't date a white woman because of that. I won't do this and I won't do that. And, I, and then I said, I've heard white men say that. Yeah, because I've heard that. I've heard white men say that, but I haven't heard it on mass. Then she went on Google and goes, I bet if I Google it, I won't see nothing. So she did Google it. And she found tons? No. She found nothing? She found black men talking about... The, the, the thing that came up was black men said they don't date black women. It wasn't even nothing to do with white she men. She was looking for white men, white men that saying would, that they don't date white, white women. women. And it was coming up with things like... Um, uh, what's that guy's name from um, the, the Best Man? Oh, Tay Diggs. Tay Diggs. There's people like that saying that they don't date black women. That's because Google's racist. Yeah, but... Ha- Google, Google is racist. It is kind of racist though. But you see what I'm saying? So that was that was the narrative that was coming from that end. Yeah, but, but I've heard white men say I don't white women. Are blah 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 blah. I've I, heard him say. It. I don't see why this is considered to be a phenomenon, though. Like if we look at the the context of why a black person may not uh, or a black man would say that he doesn't date black women or what have you, or this stigma that black men have against black women, some whatever, um, you would see that there's there's a there's a context and there's a history behind that. The black woman has historically been 
put down um, by white people, by the same systems of slavery that we talk about and all that kind of stuff. The image of her has been demoted over time. So therefore, this idea that this woman is not worthy is then has been then projected and people have taken it on. There haven't hasn't there hasn't been the same uh demonization of the white woman in the same way. So there isn't any context for mm. people to say, you know, no, uh, mm, they uh, haven't demonized uh, white uh, women. Uh, mm. The man is right. What you said is right. That's why all of us No, there's, were there's quiet. been demonization but maybe not on a on a bigger Ralph, scale. Don't don't there don't, there don't just, please. There hasn't been that demon- the, oh, right, the suffragette movement. Yeah, that's not yeah. demonization it's, of white it's, women. It's demonization of white women because they weren't allowed to vote. Black women weren't allowed to vote. Women weren't allowed to vote in Wait, general. Hang on. Uh, hang on. But the uh, suffragette uh, thing was those women weren't allowed to vote because they were women. Mm. They weren't allowed to vote because they were white women. No, that's they're, what I said. They're, they're women color- in just no, 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 women. We're talking about white women. women. As, women as, a white woman, t- as a white woman, you are this. As a white woman, you are that. Not as no, a woman. There's no narrative. As a white woman, you are this. As a white woman, you are that. Even I'm not. I'm not advocating. I'm not waving the flag for white women. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. I'm. I'm putting them in okay. bracket. <laughs> <laughs> just be careful, because remember when the suffragette thing when they did pass it. Then the white women still didn't turn on the black women. Yes, and said this d- But oh, they're, they're not with us. Oh, not not not. No, not we, we which is why I say when people we didn't women, want we didn't want them affiliated with us. That's that's kind, kind of. Yeah. So be careful what you're saying. Women have been subjugated and demoralized throughout time. Black women on a larger scale. No, but here's what I'm saying to you. This is the thing. Hey, you can't agree with that. I'm not arguing. But that's not. Well, but that's, that's not what he's talking. That's about. not what I'm talking uh, yes, about. Yes, again, I know he's 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 made a different argument. I'm saying. I, I can I can understand that. I'm I, saying. I can relate to that a lot. I'm saying specifically. As a suffering David, woman. No, as somebody that says one forget that he's talking. Oh, nobody cares second, about what you say. Try to make a second argument. That's why. <laughs> so I'm saying specifically, there is no uh, demonization of the white woman dialogue. There is no demonization of the Chinese woman dialogue. There is no demonization of the Indian woman dialogue. There is only demonization of the black woman dialogue. So much so that all of the... I would just see? Stick, stick with the white one and just leave it at that. Yeah, before, you start, before you start including everyone else. If you go to different nations, the Indian women are demonized by the Pakistani population and black people. So. And again, that's because of white people. Either way, it's, what it's because of, they still get demonized in there in certain aspects. Women get demonized full stop. Whereas Listen, white women do not get. No, don't don't all lives matter. The thing. Can um, I can I ask? Black women are in a special situation right, here. We, we've been chatting about this for half an hour. So, so. Bef- before we move on, I just want to ask one question: If the roles are reversed, <laughs> and, welcome and to the club. The VIP room for blacks is over there, exactly. but the club generally is over is here. here. If the roles were reversed, I know it's 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 a bizarre world. We can't really answer with any knowledge, but just 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 I'm just tossing it out there. If the roles were reversed and we felt that black women didn't defend us, yeah, do you think we would moan about it as black men? Yes. Okay. Wallace says yes. Yeah, I think so. Simon says yes. Depending on the subject matter, yeah, and we'll use it as an excuse to go for white women. <laughs> Looking like a crumb brulee, mad. Let's <laughs> <laughs> be real, innit? it. She I don't, don't, she I don't, don't feed me, man. She don't, because she don't I, feed me. I think that's a five out of a hundred. What? Black men that say that make it reasons to... to uh, maybe it's not fair. There's every white man, all the black men that go for white girls, they're always, you know, they treat us better. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking come home, they don't give me great. Okay, all right, let, all right, let me ask you last question, last question. Out of a hundred men, black men, how many of them do you think go for white women? Pre- Gives me pre- ketchup have a instead of stew. So again, out of what? So again, how many out of a hundred black men do you think, let's say in London, where they have a, a choice of whatever, have a preference for for white women, like, and 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 they actually like you know they aggressively go for white women? Five. You reckon it's five? Because I said five and a half. Well, it's actually probably more. Five percent. Yeah. Five. So five, five out of hundred. Yeah. Five percent. Ooh. That's what I like. I'm gonna say it's between five and ten somewhere. Ooh. Probably closer to ten. You know, yeah, it's a good question. When you look, when you think about it like that, I don't, if you were to ask this, how many black men will date white girls and black girls or whatever, the percentage is higher. If you're saying that they're only going for white girls, I'm saying five percent. Or let's say non-black women. Then. If you say yeah, if you say non-black women, it's a higher percentage. If you say non-black women, ten percent. Ten percent. I'm saying fifteen. Ten percent. Every girl, every girl, fifteen. Twenty. 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 Yeah. Two out. What? Two out of every ten. For non-black black black women, men prefer to go out with non-black, non-black women. women. Yeah. You're saying twenty. Yeah. I might even I might even see your twenty and raise you twenty five. You think so? Yeah. yeah. Damn. Yeah. I think I think number quite high. Are we talking uh, about the, in the UK? Yeah. I'm not talking about they they're happy to go out with it's, whatever. It's I'm saying London. they have a preference. In London. Yeah, because that's where you have a choice. You're like, saying in when London, you, when you twenty five percent. When you live in Yorkshire, in London, you, mate. When you live in Yorkshire and you're a black nah, man, you ain't got much choice in it. It's like I can't really, do, I can't. 
If you, if you, well, you do have a choice. There's, there's, yeah, you have there's, to get you have sheep. Yeah, you have to get binoculars to go and look for your one black woman. One quarter it? of all black men in a, in London would prefer to go out with somebody that's non-black. Yes, I come so. on, man. I You're just so. being ridiculous. Man. You I don't think so? Think so. so. Yeah, and you, of course not. Boy, no way. Look at no. like a creme brulee. I, th- I think if maybe what? if you said one out of four, because this is what you're saying now, one out of four black men would go out with anything. I'll take anybody's pussy if they're giving it away. That's then then I'll live that that. But that's <laughs> you're saying prefer. As in I don't want to date really black women. I prefer other women. Even if it's not aggressively um like even if they're not being aggressive about it. That's 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 my number my number's twenty percent. Oh, twenty well, and twenty five okay. and you're sticking with the fifteen? I said five. Five. Five percent if white. And ten percent. Ten percent if you're talking about any other any other race. And right. even then I don't even know. Any other race is still not even people in London. They talk about all these Latinas and stuff. That's that's not that's not in the UK. Flip the question. Women. One. One percent of black women would prefer to go out with one. Even even Samaras. Even, even 0.5s. Let's call them. Let's call them Samaras. I'll say one percent, and they're all creatives. Would prefer to go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> big up, oh, big under- up my creative black women. He understands me in the creative fields, where advertising, uh, media. No, no, you might even like real creative, like that artist, yeah, yeah, that yeah. kind of stuff. Like, oh, they wear certain clothes. The behem- they, they shave half their hair. The, be- the, the Bohemian, we are all human beings, and love is love. Massive. Everyone's on road and not dealing with the white. Well, a couple of them are start, are start looking like they, they might it, move bro. to the I white see boys. It, I see it. Wait to carnival, you can see it. So one yeah, percent. What while, while I'm saying, simple. Um, in that yeah, in that respect, I think it's very, very low. So I would go around about the same one percent. One percent. It's rising though. Two point five to three. Yeah, I'd I'd stick it close closer to five than than one. one. But somewhere between there. So I'd say five out of every yeah, four or five out of every, every black women prefer non black men. Yeah, that's the same. Prefer. That's yeah. the question. I will I will say coming from the the creative background, I've seen a lot of black women with white men but do they prefer them or do, is it just these are the ones that happen to be in my room that move to them that's a question about the the preference because it's it's funny because you asked what you prefer white men more than a black man no i love my black brothers but james is nice let, let me ask you a question because huh? me and me I, I, I linked up with uh 52 weeks later the other day only the brave um we went to Woo-hoo. lunch shout out shout out so yeah, he's 52 weeks coming up soon but i don't know if he's gonna get the book done with the 52 weeks but anyway so we were chatting and we were talking about the, the we were talking about the black male privilege part and he was talking about the, he's, he's, he was giving his because so you're, talk, you're it, talking about um, the, the yeah because in that debate it. they couldn't really give an example of what the black male privilege was they couldn't give an example they would ask questions but then they would like skirt around what is an actual example so I said and then he agrees that there is a black male privilege so I said okay so so 52 weeks later I agrees that the, in fact I don't even just going to carry on talking as normal so he agrees that there's a there's a um, there's a Black uh, male privilege. There's a black male privilege, yeah. And um, I said, what is it? Give me an example. And his example was, if you, as a black male, walks into a room with no none other black males and there's females in that room, he'll be more likely to be desired than everyone else. Okay. So he said that was the privilege. So I said, okay, that's fetishization most times than the privilege, really. They he can, goes, they fine. can overlap. Yeah, I said, that's fine. But then I said, that's fine. But then I said to him, so do you, f-? he goes, you know, the, the women are going to desire that man because they think he's going to give them the thing and blah, 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 and all that stuff, yeah? Small so girl. I said to him, when you go into, um, do you think that, so you think that black women don't have that same privilege in certain capacities? He's like, no. He goes, I don't think so. I said, do you know how many white men want to bang black women on the sly, but just don't, just don't, don't, don't say it in public because they don't want to be seen to, to be that person that, that goes for black women? No, is it that or do they want to be seen as the fetish type? I don't know, but interracial porn is, is banging out right at the moment right now. The men and women and the women and the men. Yeah, it's been going for a long time. So right? I don't know who, I don't know where, because it's very, very high on the, on the list of, of people's searches. So I'm assuming that these white men are lacking black women. Okay, so you feel that it, that cancels each other out so there's no privilege for the men then? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that, I, 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 do, do you think that white men desire black women? I'm asking yes. you. You brought it up. What? Okay, all right. That's I, not I, would, I, would I, say, I would say yes. I would, I would say, in the, the case that you gave, yes, if a black man walked into a room and uh, there, he was the only black man there, then maybe a lot of the white women would look at him and be like, ooh. But then I would still think it would be the same way the other way around. If it was a black woman that walked in, if, 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 if she's an attractive black woman, woman, the white man would look at her and go, ooh. Why does she have to be an attractive black woman? And, because if and she's the black ugly, man doesn't ugly. have to be an attractive black man. Maybe that's the privilege. Maybe Because black men don't have to be as attractive as, as women. Uh, sorry, men don't have to be as attractive as women in general. When men can can get across, 
men can get women without being attractive easier than a woman can get a man without being attractive. Mm. That's in general. Just forget the color. It's just, just, just true. All right, sorry, because I ain't attractive when I get women. S- sorry, I, I, because of the percent, the percentage question we had a minute ago, I mm. just kind of did a quick search. Unfortunately, or fortunately, however you want to look at it, they don't have the numbers for uh, Black UK, but they have uh, interesting numbers for Black America. I hear you, <laughs> boy. Have you seen the beef that's going on online? Yeah, we can talk about that. Okay, go on, um, so check this out: while Black men marry white women and will you marry? at twice the rate that Black women marry white men, yes, in 2017, only 15 percent of Black men were married to non-Black women, which is up from 11 percent in 2010, and about three fifths of those non-Black women were white. All right. So what about the women? The they didn't say nothing about the well, that's not fair. So there's, <laughs> oh, so hang on, hang on, hang on. So there's uh, so there, there is evidence of an increase of black men marrying out of their racial demographic. As a matter of fact, the <coughs> the Pew Pew Research Center released a report finding that 25 percent of black male newlyweds in 2013 married non-black women, compared <laughs> to 12 wow. percent of black women who married out. So 12% of black women are marrying out of the race and 25% uh, of black men are marrying out of the race. Can I say Can I say this? It's, it might sound really bad. Yeah, but... Let me, just think, don't let, say me think, let me think about it. No, stop telling me not to say it. I'll say it. However, Asian women and Native Americans still have higher rates of interracial marriage. Black women were the least likely to marry non-black men at only 7% in 2017 and only 4% were married to white women. I mean, white men, sorry. So, because I was thinking it in my head. So, so that same percentage that we were saying, we said nearer one percent, didn't we? Mm. It's four percent. Well, I was right then. That's God. America, though. That's, That's America, America, yeah. Um, I feel that the type of black man is <laughs> that would go out with uh, a white woman is more likely to be to marry than the type of black man that is happy that doesn't want to go out with a white woman. So you have higher cases that, of marriage. That's bullshit. I don't think it is. I think that's bullshit. I don't think it is. I think that's I think okay. that's actually complete bullshit. As well. right. So, the, the, because again, are we just talking about this region? Because no, I think the type of black man that wants to go out with somebody that's not black is more likely to just get married. Full stop. What? So all the, the, the that Nigerians that you know that just want to get married? What's, no, 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 no. I didn't say that black men don't want to get married. That are black men that go out with black men, people don't want to get married. I said there's a higher percentage because we we know men that are just happy to date or happy to work, be with women, and not marriage is not the biggest thing in the world. But I'm saying that the type of black, black man that goes out or wants to, prefers to go out with a non-black woman is the type of black man that is more likely to want to get married or to lock down nah, that person I once they find bull- him. I think that's bullshit. Okay, that's well, fine. Go to all them churches and all these black men that's there that want to get married. Yeah, there's I bare black men that want to get I married. I don't agree with that. I, I didn't say there's black people that want to get married. This is, I, well, then I don't understand what you're when saying. When I say there's more... The, the, the chances are yeah I'm saying that's wrong I'm saying it's, I'm, I'm, I'm saying it's wrong that's fine you I'm can say it's wrong you, but, but you, to give these little little two two pence men or whatever they are that that, that want to say they want to marry outside the race more 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 props than the ones that want to get married I don't not, get I don't get what I don't, say, I don't say that getting married is a reason to give somebody props okay Pe- so what are you saying then them people in a relationship that have been together 20 30 years happily is, is more than my three years with my wife okay so, so it's are, not about are you are you saying that more let me just get it clear. More people that want to date outside their race want to get married. Not want to. I said they're more likely. They're more. They're more inclined to. So, so it's not about want to. It's about their. their I, I just think that's bullshit. I I mean, you keep saying that. That's fine. I'm not arguing with you. What well, I'm saying is you, his, you cannot use the argument that black people want to do, do want to get married to black uh, black men do want to get married to black women. That's, that is not. That doesn't negate what I said. So you it can't doesn't use negate it. what you said. No, it doesn't. A, I didn't opinion. say. Black, bo- black I didn't men say. are getting married more and more. And in fact, I bet you feel actually start looking at the stats. Listen, Especially listen. younger black males now are getting more and more likely to get married. Yeah. Quite younger as well. Two black people. Yes. Than before. So okay. I don't understand now what you're telling you, but, me. But, but I'm not arguing with that. This is what I'm saying. You then need then to what the hell are you arguing about? This? I am saying. For, all right. Let's say back in the day it was five men out of five black men. So let's stick with black men that want to be with black women. Yeah. Let's say back in the day it was five out of ten that wanted to be married or that got married. Yeah. And now you're saying it's six or seven or eight. Yeah. yeah, I'm not arguing with that. It's nothing to do with that. I'm saying if it was five before, now I'm talking about the black men that want to go out with non-black women. That if five of them, were, the, the others were going to get married, that was six now. And if it's, it's if it's six before with the, with the black and black, then it's seven with the black on white. And if it's seven with the black on black, then it's eight. With the, that's what I'm saying. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not counting the numbers. I don't agree. Of the, that's. I don't think you're <laughs> yes. Okay. But um. So, 
well, I'm the one that's rude. Because you've told me many times that you disagree, then you have to tell me I'm chatting rubbish. But you don't think there's anything wrong with saying people saying they're chatting rubbish? No, you. As you you think there's no problem with people saying they're chatting rubbish? I said you can't say it to me. Oh, okay. And not, uh, not be disrespectful. Okay. All right. Okay, sorry. Should sorry. we move on? Probably. Say, probably. say sorry, sir. No. I'm not asking Can I ask you that, brother? Say sorry, sir. No, I'm saying sorry, nothing. I don't understand. What, uh, he, he said there's nothing wrong with it. So then, not, why is now? I've told you there's things? something wrong with you saying something. So it's not that I didn't say there's oh, nothing sorry, wrong with so it. Sorry, it's privilege. So, of course, <laughs> it's privilege. And can I say that every, there's privilege in all forms of life? Which every, is what Dennis everybody was has a, a certain privilege. Something happened just the other day, and I said, "See, that's woman privilege." A man would never. I was talking to my wife. I can't remember what it was, but I said, "A man never would have got that." And it's just that that is such for me. That's just life. Life is life. Unfortunately, things work that way. In and my I, life. I'm cool with people trying to change things that you know need to be changed, and this is wrong. But if you're just trying to change how people think in terms of men prefer looking at women, for instance, in general, so you say, well, anyway, that's, that's, that's can I ask you a question? It's hard to do that. Do you, do you, no, do you, it's just me. Do you see? No, if it's just one me. thing I do notice though now. is that um traveled so far. One thing I do see is that um, I think that one thing I'll say, and I might be wild in this, black men are more likely to hold a white woman's hand on the road than they are to hold a black woman's hand. Bra, 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 bra. Gaza with uh, but, they, but they're not married. They're not more likely to marry that black. No, woman. I don't think. That, that, I, that, I, that, I, that I don't, I don't think the marriage thing is right. Okay, but got, every time I see black men with a white woman, they're always holding their hand. Because with, maybe this is my, this is the thing. I don't disagree with you. I don't disagree with you. But that, is, it, that is, a, is exactly the same thing as what I'm talking about. And that I was rubbish, and yeah, yeah, I don't. Yours I don't. Is rubbish. Okay, mine is rubbish, and yours is not rubbish. Cool. But they are going down the same oh, road. You can say that mine is rubbish. I'm not saying it's rubbish. I agree with you. Yeah, but I'm saying it's different between me and you. Does it? I agree with you. You I, don't. I, I, don't, I mean, you I agree with me. I don't agree with you. syndrome. It's what? Munchausen syndrome. Uh, I forgot what that one is again. Man. I don't know what that one is. <laughs> do, you, do you think I'm wrong though? Oh, you you're you're so inept to your captor that you have to just keep Grab holding them. No, but I I see what you're saying, Wahala. It does. I've seen more. Mixed couples holding hands, and I would see a black couple holding hands, and that goes vice versa as well black women and white men. Yeah, maybe yeah. white people are more tactile than blacks. Yeah, maybe they're more likely to want to get married too. I don't understand, I don't, think I don't understand true. how, as black men, we have an issue with PDA. It's, I'll be, I'll be honest, it's always been there, it's been taught to me from my elders. What, don't touch a woman? <laughs> not, not, don't touch a woman, but like PDA. Keep that stuff in your house. Yeah, keep that stuff in your house. Like that's always been taught to me. So like it's, it's, um, it's always been strange to me also when uh, older black people have expressed their discontent with um, homosexuals kissing in public and people are saying, oh, that's homophobic. When in actual fact, those same black people would have a problem with you kissing a woman outside. Would they, you, just would, don't, they just don't like public displays of respect. Why are you doing that? Would you kiss your woman in public? Would I kiss my woman in public? I have done, but I do feel uncomfortable. What about the rest of you, man? Yeah, Stavros, we'll do it with, with, with pleasure. I don't mean a peck. I mean a proper smoke. I'll snog. do it, man. But no, I've never a, done a proper snog, I'm man. A, I'm a whore, so I do everything. <laughs> and the only reason why is because, like I said, I've always been... There's been two, two things about public displays of something. One is about the kissing and the holding, fondling, all that. I, I'm, I've, I've been told that you all of that ish, <laughs> all of that stuff. Yeah, you don't do that all in public. That crap. And the other thing is, you don't eat food on in public. You know, sometimes you see someone walking down the street with a bag of chips, eating it. We don't see so much now, but eating a bag of chips or like open bag of chips, walking down the street. You don't see it so much now. All the chicken shops. The chicken shops. Sh- Three thirty, four o'clock. I said bag of chips. He said you don't see it so much now. Yeah, yeah but bag, bag, bag of chips. chips. Bag of chips, bro. Don't oh, matter. That's, 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 that's not chicken shop. A bag of chips. So. Um, yeah, you don't see that so much now, Sorry. but again, my granddad was hell on that. He's like, oh, I can't bloody stand when people are walking down the street eating. And I'm like, oh, I even asked him, I said, what was wrong with it? Like, you, like you ain't got no house to go to. And I'm like, bro, why are you worried about that? But because black people are always worried about perception. Exactly, always. Exactly. So that's what I'm saying. So that's, that's, that's where- That's a massive difference between black people and white people, you know? Yeah, white but people we, do not give a shit about perception. Because they haven't had to. They haven't I had to. I just want you to know that I'm very happy we got to that point in the conversation because it permeates through the whole- hour or well it's not an hour yet or that we've been talking that point there is a massive underpin or it's a massive pillar or concrete foundation to everything we've been talking about so ladies and gentlemen Black what people Ross is saying are is much, perception is the it's, they're, they're is so, the subject matter so right busy looking elsewhere so busy the reason I don't have as many issues me and my wife have this kind of conversation when I tell her wow this is popping on social media and she's like why and I'm like, babe, I don't know. If the, if it was, if I didn't see this, I'd never would have noticed. 
and she's the same. We're oblivious to stuff because we're just cool within ourselves. I think once you're cool within yourself, in your cocoon of coolness, you you stop worrying so much about things outside, for better or for worse. Because sometimes you could be so cool, you could be so secure, so happy, so uh, in so much in comfort that you actually there are people in pain or that are without, and they're around you, and you're not even paying no mind to them because you're just so comfortable. It's like I, you know, I, I can't even understand it. Would you would you snog your woman outside? I have done and I do. Yes. So it's not a problem for you. I don't have a problem with. What PDA. about holding hands? Don't have a problem with that either. What about you, Wala? Yeah, I will kiss my woman. I, I'm I'm I kiss her. I give her a bum tap as well quite often. But I'm I'm one of those aggressive blacks. Isn't it? I would I would like to. Yeah, be, you don't look like you. I'm tap. an owner. I'll, I'll be holding her. I'll hold her. I'll hold her by the by the <laughs> wrist or whatever it is. By the, oh, the forearm. Back, back of the neck. I'm by the, by the <laughs> I don't do the back back of the neck. Dog business. I love the way that hold the movie by the back of the neck. Come here. <laughs> it's what, oh, white man's that do that movie, man. Like proper dog movements. You go where I take you. Why does it have to be a dog, man? Why don't can't it just be an, assert- like, an assertive man? No, man. It's like a, it wasn't good. It's like a lead. Hashtag ESM pod. Ladies, let us know if don't you like you it when a man nothing. when a man holds you at the back of your neck. Like, There's only one time we need to hold a woman by the back of her neck, bruv. Goddamn 47. And we said it. But I just <laughs> think that if we got to this whole situation. <laughs> Mod. I just, I don't know, man. I just, I just, I never notice it. Maybe, maybe the black men do do it, and I just don't notice it. But I always notice it with with um, black men and white women. They tend to hold their hands. I notice both. They it just doesn't happen. Blah, blah, blah. Are your prospective females as open and happy with PDA? My, as my you one are? is not. Stavros's wife is not as happy with uh, PDA as I am because probably because she's standing beside me. Like, I don't want people knowing I'm with him. Uh, not you. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm, not, I'm not with him. Oh, oh, this child that looks like both of us. No, 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 no. Yeah, I, I, I would be interested. I would be interested to. Um, it's his cousin. It's his cousin. I would be interested if we could get some some answers on that from on Twitter. If, if black women do like PDA, PDA. because uh, public displays of affection. I don't by the think way. they do. Because uh, just in case people didn't know what PDA meant, it's mm. not. It's not. It's not phone. Um. So yeah, because <laughs> I don't know, man. I, don't, I, I my missus doesn't mind it. She quite likes some t- when I'm being affectionate to. But my missus is an affectionate person. She likes affection. She likes that type of stuff. So maybe she she's not as bad as others, but um, I think in general black women are not not they're less inclined to PDAs, and I think it's because of what other races said as well that you've uh, been taught not to do it. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Like yeah, we saw my dad, my mum and dad dance one time, and it was like the most amazing thing ever. I don't think I've ever seen my dad kiss my mum, or maybe I have, and it would have been it would have been an event. Have. Yeah, never. never <laughs> well, if we've seen him kiss let's say 10 times in our lives then 8 of them would have been at some sort it would have been some yeah. form of thing like if it was their name it, is like their somebody anniversary would, or something somebody would be in the house it would never just be my mum, dad and me or, or me and my brother yeah, and yeah, then they yeah. kiss they would, they would have it to would be it would have been an event people would be in the house even if it's so not I like think when they renew their vows maybe maybe yeah, yeah, a yeah, birthday yeah, yeah. or something like that yeah, they, re- they, they renew their vows every 10 years so they're, they're, they're an oca- on occasion they, they PDA for occasions Yes, the, when it when he when there's a they snapshot keep their stuff involved, private, so the Instagram PD, yeah, the Instagram yeah. PD, when there's a snapshot involved, they would do it, <laughs> but they would never just oh, yeah, do take it. picture of me kissing my wife. <laughs> That's what I say. When I saw about that dance with like one time they were just playing music and he just started to dance with my mom. I was like, what's going on there? Mate? Oh yeah, snap me picture. Yes, ask, we recorded it. We had well. to ask if there was a problem. <laughs> you are you right? You're right. Anybody want to talk about R. Kelly and his I admit song? Because I haven't heard it. I don't care about it. I ain't listening to it. Well, so oh, I'm, wow. I'm leaving that to you guys. Uh, you know my my start from R. Kelly. No, we don't. You, you, you like them women now. You, Fuck you, know, you should know. All right, so I've said it many times on the podcast before. Simple. I tried to listen to it. I didn't get very far. Sorry, 19 minutes, uh, I admit. Yeah, so. it was a long song. EP, yeah. boy. I didn't I didn't get to finish it. I didn't, I didn't what was he admitting in the song? Does anybody know? He, I'd listen to it. Uh, he I know admit, you would. I, you would. I'm an R. Kelly fan. I don't care. Simple. Oh, my God. Nah, listen, the music is the music. Burn you. Judge the man if you want to judge the Your man. Your hairline will be Burning gone tomorrow. You. Burning you. Um... He just admit his faults as a man. Uh, he admits um, lying to his family, not being a hundred percent, not being able to read, uh, cheating his label mate. Yes, he'd had affairs with women, older women, young women. Hang on, did he say he can't read? <clears throat> yeah, he said yep. he can't read. This is a one-on industry. <laughs> Big up thing. Floyd Mayweather. But, but Keep going. But he's admitting to it now. <laughs> Big up Floyd. He got uh, one segment of the song. He he said he said, "Don't bring your daughters to my concert." And expect nothing not to happen when you want something to happen, and then expect money in return for something happening. Yeah. So it's like he's, he's mad. Yeah, he's, he, he basically he's, said it, this is a story that had come out that parents or fathers have bought daughters 
to the concert, knowing that the daughters are going to want to do something with R. Kelly. R. Kelly will say, don't do that because something, if something does happen, don't expect to pay out. So like, I'm going to do something, but you want money for it. So like you're pimping your daughter to me. He didn't, I don't, he, he, correct me if I'm wrong, but he never mentioned underage though, did he? He did mention underage. He, about he, mentioned, he mentioned age. I can't remember if he said, young. she's too old for me or she's too young for me. Uh, he's mm-hmm. trash, man. I, 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 I'm, I'm burning, man. I, mean, I, got the, I got the impression he was happy to say that um, from from other people I've heard talk about it, mm. that he admits all this kind of stuff that many men might admit Did he admit to, to the earlier thing? He, he, he mentioned something about it, but I can't remember. One no, th- well, all the juicy, man. He, no, he, he can't remember. Because there's a lot of things that he was talking it's about. It's a 19-minute like, song. Yeah, it was a lot. He was talking about him. I sat down, I'll I'll remember sat the down with, bit, I sat down with Wendy Williams. I uh, didn't give her Hennessy, but we did smoke. And she she started lying about me. And I will lie back about her because I know the truth of what happened. And she's glorifying certain things. So he went on and on and on about so many things. <laughs> Fuck Akali, man. Let's just go to the next thing. I don't even want to give him any time. It was simple. You were just about to say something. You were going to respond to something. No, I wasn't. I wasn't. I was. Uh, I, I think you, we should all listen to it and have our own no, opinions. No, thank you. Wow. <laughs> I, I, d- he, I really don't care, man. Did he hurt you that bad, Wahala? No, I don't have time for that, man. I'm not supporting that. I just don't care about him enough to, to listen to. I'm, I saw 90 minutes. I said, no. And I that used was that. to think. Don't How much does a blue tick on social media boost your status? <laughs> do you want to talk about Trevor Noah's uh, Aboriginal ladies joke? Ladies, uh, do you want to talk about the dude that directs what's the the um, Guardian of the Galaxy? Guardian the film that um, our boy was in the Guardians of the Galaxy film. Why is your eyes so white? If I could see it, that's crackhead white, you know. <laughs> yeah, and he's uh, even uh, James well. Gunn. James Gunn, the director of uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, of the Galaxy well, one, well and, and, and writer, the other Peter Fuck. It was a Peter. Yeah, oh, the jokes thing. Yeah, you, that's why they got rid of him because he was took joking about molestation of boys and kids. He made jokes, several jokes as well. Yeah, but he counts himself as a comedian. It's like it's like a what, uh, it's, it's certain comedians. In fact, knowing hearing a lot of comedians, the one thing that they universally say, and even Travis J said it last week, is it's almost it's their job to push boundaries. It's yes. their job. They push. All comedians say this. They say they hate people complaining about it. The reason why man, my man takes people's phones when you come to the thing is like, apart from the fact that I want you to live in the moment, it's just I don't want all this social media backlash on blah, blah, blah. It's a joke. That's what these people, it's a no, that's joke. That's the reason why they take the phones. I said part, part of it. Okay. I've, heard, I've, I've, heard him, I've heard him say <laughs> That I don't like people. Not only do you be there, stop recording, you know, in, in general, stop taking pictures, listen to what I'm saying. But part of it is that I don't want you to post it five minutes later saying uh, Dave Chappelle said this and that, and there's some backlash of, of something I said on, a, on, on as a joke. It's a joke. You're here for jokes. Don't take because remember you post a three minute clip online. It's taken completely out of context of everything you said before and everything you said after. So. We, that's, yeah. that's for contractual agreements and to make sure oh. that these things don't come out before it is meant to come out really. okay all right fair enough fair enough fair but enough. but that's what comedians are saying anyways they, wait, they're there to push 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 okay. push push but what did he let's just explain I what can't happened remember, uh, uh, um so he he directs and writes the guardian of the galaxy yeah he directs it he writes it he's done the first two they were very popular he was signed on to do the, the third one he was about to start writing it because i think they're meant to record this year i think sometime this year mm. uh 10 year old tweets came up Due to okay, he's very anti-Trump, and he says a lot of stuff against Trump and against the Republican and the right. Now, a prominent right-wing somebody scumbag, they say, brought up this stuff because he was upset with. Well, look at this guy; he's gunning us. Look what he said ten years ago, and his joke. He made jokes about pedophilia uh, or have molestation, molestation of kids and molestation right. boys, and all right. So he's apologized for this in the past. Before, yeah. So before before this thing has happened, he's apologized and said, you know, I should have. I, I went too far with those jokes because there were jokes at the end of the day. They weren't jokes in good in good. They weren't funny jokes. They weren't jokes in good, good in, in good taste. But they were jokes. It, 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 it's cl- quite clear that they were jokes. Mm. So he's apologized for that. But anyways, this person brought it up. Said, look what look what's happened to him. You know, when Roseanne said cer- certain things, she got cancelled straight. It seems to, it's, it seems like it's a it's a when us people say something as in people on the right when we say something we get we get done for it when you liberals and and you you, you free thinkers say stuff you get away with everything and uh, Disney who own uh, Marvel or the Marvel uh, uh, film stuff cancelled him immediately there was no long it was like within a twenty four hour period of him bringing it up his old tweets they they um, cancelled right his so. contract they're right to do so. All right, I would I would say I don't think so. I would say they're right to do so because of the context of who, what he was saying, 
and the audience of the people that are meant to be watching these films. Yeah, it says it's to protect and those those members because Disney and the MCU universe cater for kids and the young adults, and that's a growing and emerging market. That's their money for the next however many years. So they don't want to put, they don't want to distill the water in any way. So anybody that's looking to bring something that's tainted or shady can't have you around. It's gone, mate. Gone. You can't be talking about molesting kids and think that it's all right to do yeah. work of Disney. Gone. Yeah, it's to, it's to, to save the Disney brand. Yeah. Because in reality, Walt Disney was a pedophile anyway. Yeah, but that's Walt Disney and you can't yeah, smirch his name. But you understand what I'm saying? Because it's King Walt. But do you get what I'm I know, saying? I know exactly yeah, so what you're saying. It's like we, really? we, yeah. we, we just have to remove... Listen, any, we, have to, we have to remove any suggestion that you can start bringing that paedophilia talk back over here. Cause but you, Goofy it, and Pluto were dirty bastards. But the thing about this now is that all of the cast members uh-huh. are coming back. Well, not all of them, but a lot of them are saying, nah, you need to bring him back. Uh, well, yeah, one, one of the tweets is, I like when little boys touch me in my silly place. That's one of the tweets. Let me see if I can find some more. Like, oh, the best thing about being raped is when you're done being raped and it's like, woo, that feels great, not being raped. These are not even funny. That is a bit. Yeah. That one, is a, that one made me actually feel uncomfortable. So, so yeah, rape and paedophilia jokes. <laughs> oh, I'm no longer being raped. Oh. Nah, man, you got to come off. I didn't, nah, it, you got to come off because you didn't even delete the tweets. See, that's the thing. I think he, he, he might have. And, and, and you know, the, the internet... You can't ever delete anything can't hide from, from the internet. internet. It doesn't hide. It's in but cash, bro. This is, this is what the, the situation is, though. You're looking at the merits of a man as his ideals and his whatever he thinks as a man. But him as a creative, as a writer, and what he produces is amazing. But you, the person, you're a scumbag. It's just all right. Dave Chappelle would have done those tweets. And you people would have said... Uh, sorry, sorry, not tweets, sorry. Jokes. Mm. Dave Chappelle could have easily said that rape joke. I'm not having no no at me. I'm not having none of it. He could have easily said something. He might have even really done one or, like or that. something aligned with that tweet. Something on that level. Mm. But my point is, when you put it in, that's why he wouldn't want so something the like that taken out. I want to back what um, the actor just said. I want to. I want to. I want to back what you said because, I, and this is why I have a great problem with all of these problematic characters that are coming out and this judgment that we have, where we we automatically apply the person to their creation mm. and. And yes, I know the creation comes from that person, but you can't, I don't know, it's difficult. They're shit at being human beings, but they're fantastic at whatever they create. Mm, mm. And we don't make that distinction. We kind of put the two things together and say- No, I think be- people do. No, we, they say, we say because he created that, he's now cancelled and I don't want to have anything to do with the creation. That's, what, that's, that's the whole R. Kelly argument. What? The True. man makes great music. No one ever told you R. Kelly does not make great music. Yeah, but then everybody would fully tell you R. Kelly makes great music. They so, would then tell you that he's a pedophile. Yes. So because that, he's a pedophile, I am not going to resp- support the great music. Okay. What so, is the way, what do you mean they don't make a distinction? So, so what I'm saying is, in that case, you're saying you don't want to listen to any of his music anymore. Yeah. And I'm saying, okay, fine. If you're talking about anything new that he makes, fine. But the old stuff that you'd been listening to all that time, people are cut all that shit off as well. Yeah, so, so what's the problem with that? Okay. That's the distinction between the man and, and the music. And the music, that's what Yeah, I'm but saying. they've made a distinction. They've said that this person is a pedophile. I do not want to listen to this man's music anymore. I don't want to hear anything from this man. I don't want to do anything to do with this man. So I, don't want to, I don't want to support him by playing his music. Because as far as I'm concerned, you're saying in the past, but they could be streaming that music in the past. That's still putting money in his pocket. They don't want to be promoting that music to people outside that could potentially no, no, hear it. In his 19 minute songs, he said yeah, he, sold, he sold all the royalties to yeah. his music because he's illiterate and he doesn't make any money. That's why he's touring because he needs to oh, talk yeah, to okay. make some oh, yeah, bills. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Can you imagine? I'll kill you. Yeah, well, you're no, making that face, but no does, does anybody else know that? I'm, I'm not saying, but no, no, no one else knows that. So let's not even use that as an example. Uh, but my we all know it now because 19 minutes is. And, and I don't necessarily have to believe it. <laughs> that should have been the name of the song, 19 minutes. <laughs> So in the end, people don't want to promote his music. But are you playing somebody's music anywhere? That's a promotion. All right, but in in that respect, does that mean Guardians of the Galaxy Volume One and Two should be cancelled because of James Gunn? Thank you. Because of his what his jokes? Yeah. Because of his jokes. Yeah. Because of him as a person. It's up to you. What, no, no. What's your take on it? Because you're, you're you're heavy with the with the R Kelly thing. What's I your think, take on I this think, now? No, because of the R Kelly thing, he was a pedophile. This one, he's making stupid jokes. I don't agree with the jokes. You're asking me, should he be fired? Yes, I think he should be fired. Boy. I think he should be fired, but doesn't mean that then I think he's a pedophile. Yeah, but 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 I think he's a
I think he should be fired because you cannot be associated to that brand. Do you think he's a pedophile jobs? because there hasn't been any rumours to defamatory or anything to come out to say that so he's if not it a turns pedophile. out he was a pedophile did, I, did you even listen to what I just said what, so no if, but I'm saying if it turns out that he was a pedophile if he was a pedophile then cancel his everything so, okay. you, so you would stop what, you wouldn't watch um, Galaxy 1 and 2 again nah, because of that I've seen them both already L- let's say that the film um, Avengers 2, 4 is yeah. made yeah and then it comes out that the people that wrote it and produced it and directed it different mm. bunch of people had some child sex ring that they were all part of yeah. before the film comes out yeah would you would you then watch the film? No. Woo! I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm still watching that film. Oh, 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 oh. I ain't lying to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. Would you not go to the cinema to watch it? No, I'm not going to watch that film. But you watch it online. I won't watch it online. If it came on Channel Five, I wouldn't watch that film. <laughs> Especially if it was known that there was a Peter for a ring and these people still allowed him to make the film and still released it. I'm not watching it. I watch it. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. Watch it. I ain't gonna lie to you. Mod. I'm not watching it. Wow. Not so would you, want, would you be happy with people spoiling suit. it for you knowing that you're not going to watch it? Yeah, of course. Wow. Oh, I like that. I like that. I like that you stuck, stuck to your gun. Yeah. I like that. Stuck to yeah. James Gunn. It's very yeah, different yeah. if, you know, it came out preview after the film and the film's already watched, be made and blah. You're saying that these men knew and they still released it. Nah, you're taking a piss. I like that. I, I like that. that. It was like that with a lot of other people in their movies though. Keep going. I didn't know though. Yeah, but you didn't necessarily know. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, Even Brian Singer films, I'm a bit... I don't know if I'd watch What did he do again? He's a pedophile as well. Yeah, and he had the pedophile ring. Brian Singh had a pedophile ring? Yes. What did he... What did he... Boy. You know what my biggest... That's the one his daughter died, isn't it? She, she, she no, no. committed suicide? No, no, no. That's um, Zack Snyder. So, um, Brian Singer... So, is he, is he... Does he do anything in Hollywood then? X-Men. Is, yeah, X-Men, X-Men man. It's, no, but does he still do stuff, I mean? Yeah. He still does stuff, yeah. Oh, I don't... Okay, I don't know. You need to watch the film that they've got. Of the, have you seen the film? I haven't seen it yet. When you watch that film, you just be like, rot. Of which film? What film? It's like a film about the pedophile ring that he was involved with. And it was about to, like some, they had some like production company mm. and they had all these kids and they was raping the kids in the oh bruv. It's a deep days. thing. What's wrong with people? I don't know. It's power. You know, you That's know, what power know, does You know the thing I, I've never understood? I, I can get the idea of, of a pedophile. Yeah, I can get it. I don't agree with it, obviously, but I can get the idea. I cannot see how these people connect and link up. Where did these people find each other? Online. That they're On the happy, dark that, web. That I'm happy to... Before there was a dark web, there was no dark web, you know, and these people... Before internet, these people still find each other. Yeah, because they're yeah. doing sex rings. Yeah, but it's coded. Newspaper. Like, how would you coded. have all these articles that it's you have, like, different names and different codes? You yeah. meet somebody in a dirty place or you or, or people are in selling... dirty place. People are selling children. Selling children. It's, you it's, find out someone where they're selling a child. Do you know anyone else that takes that does this? Yeah, I know okay, someone. Okay, okay, listen, listen. How, listen, people listen. Used to, you, how do people used to sell drugs? Listen, listen. I didn't no, know what no, a drug no. dealer was. Listen, 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 listen. You... Gr- no, no, person A grows up and becomes 25 and realises they are or whenever they, throughout their life they realise they are attracted to young 10 year old boys or girls yeah they get to that age they they do something or whatever right Un- unthinkable but for some reason they want to find somebody else that they can do that with where does this before the internet where does this 25 year old who did they go to ask you don't. Excuse me. You got, how, uh, you are you interested repeat, in young people like, like me? You don't. You don't. You, you go what, to sex shops. You go to sex places. You you don't. What you what you what you have to realize is that there are going to be nuanced things that that person mm. does or is inclined to that other people who are of his nature will be inclined to, and he will be able to identify that in them, and you won't see it. And some it, of the some uh, of the some of the, some of the biggest drugs ring, um, drugs ring, pedophile rings or whatever, they come about from when you go to rehab for this or when you go to AA meetings and things like that, you will meet other people in the same circles, but some of them haven't been cured of their disease or their illness or whatever you want to call it. And they will attach themselves to someone else who's involved. And then that's how another ring would start. Okay. Or you've got things like well, you have like the, that pedophile films or whatever. And then you'll, you, you'll find out who produced them. And then you mm. go and link up that way. Bro, this, this, this there's like always mess- crap, there's messages it? in the films as well. Yeah, they'll put you like if you want. And they'll have uh, sex uh, magazines uh, and stuff. I like, like the way Simple Simon put it. That, that resonated with me. Well, I some understand. people see it. I was watching, there was one program I watched and it was a bit like that. Sorry, go on, say what you say. Go on. It was a bit like that. So one guy, he was, he, he was trying to find his daughter in the program. And he basically, one guy was, he was, he was a pedophile. He was a pedophile, but he didn't sleep with the girl until she became of age, apparently. But he was he was like, like to get like when tiger. he was younger, a bit like yeah, what this is Tiger did, yeah. But anyway, so to find his daughter, they have assumed that she's in a pedophile ring somewhere, yeah. To find his daughter, he took this guy and said, "Look, where do you guys, do you people, that do this? Where do you go? Where do you go?" And then he took him to one man's place, and then 
they was on him and they could say, you know what? I could, he goes, yeah, he's, he's he's one of them. No, in fact, sorry. Actually, one girl that was molested by a, by a, by a, a, a man. This is what she I got interrupted. For she me. sorry, sorry. She saw him. <laughs> let me. Sorry, I know, I know, I'm getting it wrong. <laughs> right, so she was molested. By, she was molested by a man, and then she said to him, the other guy, that guy's a pedophile. <laughs> That guy, that other guy. Yeah, that he guy. goes, that guy's a pedophile. And he goes, what do you mean? He goes, I can see it on him. You can just sense it. You, When you've been around them enough, you just know. Okay. Did they have a badge? It was a brown one. Okay. <laughs> what Simple Simon said about characteristics and being able to sense these kind of things in other people, I understand because I am filth. And I understand, I see filth in women where some the, the person that doesn't have that filth it's like a, what they call game they, what they call game. what they call this gaydar thing something that they mentioned a gay person will recognize another gay person mm. even though you know there's no out, outward attributes to showing mm-hmm. or you know flamboyant things or whatever to show that they're actually gay me as a fourth person I see filth and then filth sees me and we know that each other and then I show them the ring and I move and I move away <laughs> you're a joke <joker. laughs> now it hasn't happened since I've been married but blatantly when I see filth I know filth alright um what we got? Another half hour. You said that with a bit of pride. So do you think it? There's uh, yes, there's pride in it. Do you think oh, there's filth? And I love it. <laughs> you know what Are you gonna go? I'm gonna go to the next I, thing, but I, I wasn't. I want to talk about that boutique still. Yeah, I okay. Wasn't filthy filthy slag. slag. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he said. He said. Yeah. 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 Total slay. <laughs> All right. Um. The, is blue ticks giving you props? Out here in the streets. Fuck blue ticks. Whoa, 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 whoa! When come? When come? When come? Um. What? I meant hold up, sorry. We're all looking at we were all looking at you like what? Please explain this. When you say blue tick, do you mean the verified tick? Yes, the oh. verification. Is the verification giving you props now? Are you getting vagina because of your verified? Oh, oh that kind of props. That's proper props. Are uh, people I'll, are people treating you differently because you've got the verified tick? Yes, the answer is yes. 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 How differently do you think people are getting ver- you, get, you get another you get another five percent of, of of respect or 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 um like I'm paying attention to you I'll pay attention to something you said if there's a thread on Facebook or on Twitter and there's twenty people there the one with the blue tick will get more forget I'm not talking about being liked or retweeted but you'll pay more attention to what they said than necessarily the other nineteen so what because was, they have that acc- what was accreditation the, what was the equivalent of the blue tick before the blue tick existed money. No, oh, because God. you have to remember what the blue tick represents. The, re- the blue tick represents an idea that you are endorsing the digital identity. You're, you are saying that this uh, digital identity is a real identity and it is attached to the real person. That's what the verification is about. Now it is, not before. Not on Twitter. What do you mean? Uh, on Twitter, it started off you're a uh, celebrity, a kind of yeah, basically. And this is the real account for the celebrity. Isn't your now, yeah, likes. but you had to be somebody for it for you to get that tick. Full stop. Yeah, but what I'm saying is the mechanism is about endorsement. Yeah, but and the uh, endorsement is is about. Yeah, but now in theory, anybody in theory, because you can go and Twitter and apply to, to get you and show proof of who you are, and they can give you a ticket. You don't have to be anybody. You could have one follower and live in a village by yourself but as long as you can prove you are just like you said who you are mm-hmm. and this is your account you should get a blue tick but before you could be that one person in the village if you haven't done anything if you, if there's if nobody knows who you are you wouldn't have got the blue tick in the beginning because you're as far as I can you're nobody you had to be in brackets somebody before you could get the blue tick and then be verified so it, I think that history of it still lingers on to today because the majority of people that aren't, and I'm putting this in um, inverted commas, I don't want to, I don't want to insult anyone, but I'm in, I'm in part of this bracket. If you're not somebody, if you're not somebody of some sort of status, you still don't get a blue tick. Only people that have a certain amount of followers or a certain status get the blue tick, even up to now, even though, like I said, in theory, anybody can get it. Mm. So because you have that status, it's almost like a celebrity status. So oh. it's so it's a celebrity status online. So. Again, before the blue tick, what was the blue tick? I I think the latter day blue tick was if you had a a party, like if you was eight the years early, old. Early day blue or pre blue tick, you mean? Not latter day. Early day blue. Let tick. him be wrong if he wants to be wrong. Go yeah, ahead. let me be wrong and strong. Look at like a creme brulee. Mad. Um, your early day blue tick. If you had, you was like eight years old or whatever, and you had a birthday party. How many kids will come to that birthday party? That would be your blue tick. So you so you took it all the way to like eight year old. Yes, that would so, be your blue so, tick. So your so your your 
attraction to popularity. Yeah. Your popularity. Your popularity is your blue tick. Yeah. So yeah. if you was to say web slinger or the actor, whatever you call yourself these days, Bob, uh, I'm having a rave. If you can get 50,000 people to that rave, that's or you can get 100 or 50,000, you know, that's how we pushing roll it. Out We're pushing here, it. All right, but if you can get 200 people to your rave, mm. and you know, and the next man like Simple can only get 10, you are the, you are the blue tick, and he's just a normal subscriber. Uh, yes, yes, yeah. I, I'm fully concerned what, what. So that yeah, was that what I was used to be in the past. So then, going by the past, then we would have had ticks. You reckon we would have had ticks? Of course, man. Oh my. God, this man thinks he's we special. Have, no, we I'm, not, I'm not thinking I'm smashing it. We would have had text. I said, I think you're special. From, no, no, from, I, know, I know I'm special. From our individuality, from our individual statuses alone, we have text. From Slagfest and everything Slagfest created, we we are beyond legendary. Every time I see them talk about that Henny Palooza and do you say Palooza or whatever, yeah. I always think of us, man. That's like fest. Man just started a little party and then just made it big. More, more people just came to the party yeah. and then we just grown in the party. And then suddenly everybody was just part of that party. Yeah. We could have been promoters anyway. We should have been promoters. That would have got us a lot more money than doing this. Well, my first rave when I was like 19, I was still in university anyways. <laughs> the red so party. 19, and I had a red party. <laughs> and for some reason, I was well, mad. you both had a red party. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I was going yeah. to delve when, into that. When I was 19, uh, yeah, you I are, had my first rave. You, you, are, an you, were you, are, you are an <laughs> important <laughs> part of the story. Uh, because you 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 you'd heard raves before, didn't you? The story, yes. So that's why I said my first. Because as far as I was concerned, Web Slinger. Sorry, he, he did that it. Actor, that he did it in association things. with me. Um, it was our thing, innit? Um, we now, had, now he was say our thing. Of course it was. But before, when it, I was, it, it was my, rave. my first rave, and maybe one of your early raves. I don't know how many you had done before. I don't. You know. came on board with me and did some. Let's, let's wow! I, I brought you in, bro. Let's wow! Well, it's let's not the case. It well, you had the venue, don't it? Yeah, let's say how it is, man. I brought you in. You had the venue, and I actually did everything else. That's right. You were my worker. Oh my day! You call you a runner, you know? You can look at it too, if you want to look at all like up that. in this bitch. Well, Come the, on, the yeah. people that came came because of me, anyway. So, but my, but my point is that we had a. This is when black people could do raves in West End. And we could get a club in Shaftesbury, Shaftesbury, Shaftesbury Blood, Avenue. Blood Club Blood Avenue. Can Club you imagine? Avenue. As a 19, 20 year old, just, just um, with no money. Because that's the important part. If I had yeah, money, had it would have no been different. Money. No money. Holding a rave in Shaftesbury Avenue. And people came. And then, but not enough for my liking. No, not, not enough people came, but people came. And so that's why they want to hold rave have number some, two. we did have celebrities in there, though. I don't remember. I don't know. Was we at that party? Of course. I, my brother, of course I was there. But he said he was 19. Yeah, so? He would have been there. I was there at, at the party. Not you. Oh, simple. Mm. Why wasn't simple there? Why weren't you there, bro? I don't know if, if simple would have been there. Maybe. I, maybe. Feel, I feel like I was at a red party. I do remember your hair being red. I'm sure yeah, he was at a red suit. party. There's pictures though. There's pictures. No, but the red I'm sure suit. He was I had a red, red suit. Party. I had red hair. You had a red bandana on. Man. Yeah, I think I was. Maybe. There. I think he I was there. there. Yeah, we did have celebrities did. there. It was a holiday. We had Rachel from S Club Seven. She was there. Wow. Anyway, what was my point? My point was that that was the kind of thing that showed. That was oh, our blue tick. You, you don't. Well, like I said, I don't think I was. I was, til, til, I, was halfway, I was halfway on the tick. Man at lower left should have a blue tick. Yeah, of course. If we took it to that stage, people that in the uh, before the millennium. Yeah, man. Like, like, people people, people be, like Charlie Brown back in the day, we should have had a tick before two thousand. Of course, Charlie. No, oh, Charlie Brown is in the, the promoter. Charlie oh, Brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Crackhead Charlie. Shout, shout out, Crackhead Charlie. <laughs> He's the one that bagged the Asian chicken out of the stairs, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, behind the bush. <laughs> behind the bush? What? Was, somebody else was at the stairs, isn't it? What? Was he not that at the rave? You no, were he at that at the rave. Ain't you the one? You banged Cracker Charlie's girl, though. You know that, yeah? She was my girl first. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Is, when you were talking about stealing chicks, was, is this the one you were talking about? No. So you were just stealing bear of your bedrooms, uh, banging bear of She your was my chick. I do remember this. In fact, that leads right into the, the Faith Evans and uh, Stevie J thing, but Karen Henry again. All right, again. let's just move on to that because we're running out of time. Anyway. Stevie J apparently has got married I to still remember uh, that rave, Faith, Evans. Faith Evans. I can't remember the rave. I think we come from 10 rooms. I'm um, not 10 rooms. Um, we come from Shush rooms. It yeah, was Shush, Shush. It was, we was with... Um, Don't say yeah. <laughs> yeah, but we was, we was with him. Other people did other things that Yeah, night. we was with him. Are you sh- were you not there? You know me, I just, the best nights. I was never there. I don't understand why. Because we went to someone's house in it, and somebody was yeah yeah I wasn't there that time yeah oh no you know what the Asian girl no sorry no 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 we were, they didn't bang behind the bush we were hiding behind the bush watching them bang yes yeah because they was banging on the car or in the car like that. <laughs> you are some dirty pervs man <laughs> yes 
<laughs> oh, what do you mean? They're banging outside, man. They're banging yeah, they were the banging outside. Yeah. We, 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 what, what are we gonna do? Because the, the other girl, the, 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 the other girl took our bedroom upstairs <laughs> to her yard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, she, they couldn't even go into the yard. Nah. They banged on the stairs. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, uh, Stevie J and Faith Evans. <laughs> there's something. I, there's a question I want to ask you about that. They spoke about our three shots actually. That I found quite interesting. But we get, let's talk about Faith Evans first. So uh, Stevie J is now married to Faith Evans. Congratulations. Stevie J is a producer. He's uh, now known for, I think, being in reality program. Loving but, hip-hop. But back in the day... And yeah. cheating on women. That's what he's known for. But back in the day, he was a very big producer, part of the Hit Squad, and the Hit Squad was the in-house production team for Bad Boy. So take he that, produced that, many that. songs for take that, take Biggie that. Smalls. Did he? A- uh, yes. Stevie J was part of uh, the, hit, the Hit Squad. Second, al- second album, maybe. Not first, maybe. It doesn't bum, matter. Bum, the the bum, fact bum, of the bum. matter is, he bum. knew and bum. worked with bum. Biggie Smalls. Bum. Faith's first husband. Mm-hmm. Now, Biggie yes, has been dead that. for about 20 years or so, or something like that. Yeah. All right. Now, 20 years later, he's married the, the, the ex-wife or the, I don't know, the, the widow, the widow what? Or widow? Yeah. Widow. Well, the widow, widow of his widower. bedroom, basically, in essence. Or his or his colleague, at least. Yeah. All right. I just get to the point. Would you be happy with your bedroom marrying the person that you were married to 20 years after you died? This is, this is when I know your ego is massive. Cause I'm dead. You're I'm, dead, bro. Don't give a what shit. What does it matter? I'm asking the question. I don't what, say. Am I gonna come from? This am I gonna assumption. come from, from from wherever, wherever afterlife to be like, ah, oh, pissed off about that, bro. Come from the beyond to tell you. I'm, I'm, pissed ask, off about I'm that, just bro. asking. I'm just asking. I wouldn't care. Would you do it? Because I think you wouldn't do it. So I think oh. you do. You would. You oh, do would care. I not? Yes, of course I would. You would marry somebody. You would marry uh, Simple Simon's. Uh, yes. Twenty years after he's gone. Yes. Two years even. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you would. Why wouldn't I? Man is dead. I don't think it's about him being dead or not. Why not? Looking like a crap movie. Because late. she belonged to him. Mod. Ma- he is dead. My wife belongs to me. I don't matter if I die tomorrow. And she, she's not yet 40. When she's 70, she's still mine. Man is coming back like ghost, you know. Yes. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Man, man is coming back like ghost. I'm making, I'm making moves while you're on the life support machine. In it, in it. You know, in it. When she, you know, you know the one thing? When, when he's on the life support machine and then she puts her hand on, the, on his and then you put your hands on hers. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing this behind <laughs> to, to, to the air bubble. Oh, nigga, hurry up, nigga. Come on. <laughs> you know, I know. He does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> back to them taking out the plug back oh, oh I'm oh, I'm sorry I, I'm sorry I just wanted to charge my phone I didn't, oh life support I didn't I didn't I realize wanted to charge my phone I, I'm sorry oh my I'm God. sorry you men are terrible you know these androids they need a lot of battery they don't, you know they, they don't hold their charge <laughs> They don't hold their charge. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're not, I'm not right. Plug, you know. plug it back in by all means. <laughs> and you know them them uh, life support machines have got like a, a three minute restart time, innit? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know what that alarm was about. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can we get a glass of water up in here? Man, man wakes up to see the pillow over his face. <laughs> I was just plumping your pillows. <laughs> Making you feel comfortable, man. Yeah, I put your favorite perfume on there. I wanted you to smell it. <laughs> your, your wife's perfume. How do I know what your wife... What, uh, don't worry about I know oh, what your wife... Oh, you man. Are anyway, so what, 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 Allah said it. that he feels no issue. He would uh, be, have no issue with somebody marrying his widow twenty years after he's gone, and he has no issue with doing it that way around. Simple Simon, the actor. What about you guys? The actor. I don't know. I I. I want you to think about the woman you're with now. I don't want some long hypothetical thing. The woman you're with now. Unfortunately, we pass well, twenty want, years down the line. Especially if I've got kids as well. By the way, hang on. Well, I don't want any of you blacks marrying my woman. Would you be, not pass. want? Would you be? Would you be cool with it? No. Then, then after cool, then you can say, yeah, I'd actually want it because some people say, oh, yeah, I'd rather you than somebody else. No. If I had kids, I'd rather one of my boys than someone else. No. If you're my, if if one of my boys is a godfather to my kids, then that's fine. But you don't have to deal with. Wait. So the godfather can marry the woman? No, no, no. I'm saying your godfather. That's it. But oh. don't trouble the missus. Oh, you can be, you Which know, yeah. help, help help raise a child. Help raise a child. Don't help so raise a child. So I should go around the house, do manly things yes. and not get the peace. No, yes. No. Nah, bond that. Bond that. That's, what's that? Side man, innit? That's yeah. basically, that's a side man's man. Man's going there, mowing the lawn and thing and he's yes. not, even, he's not even getting lemonade. Nah, Ma- bond that, bro. Man's going to mow the lawn, but he can't mow the lawn. So, excuse me, when I die, can you be, you can you be, my, can you be my wife's side, side man, please? Yeah. Just do all the work and not get back. Man, don't look after, but no bad. And Jerome, just leave it. Yo, what's up, bro? Jerome's banging true. In it, very true. You're there to why, why did oh, no, you missed a bit in the corner yeah. there, bro? Why didn't Jerome mow the oh, Jerome doesn't mow the lawn. Jerome don't Jerome, mow the lawn. Jerome mows lawn. Jerome, <laughs> oh, Jer- Jerome trims the bushes. 
<laughs> he don't mow the lawn. He, he, he does, does the plumbing. He does the, he does the digging. <laughs> he does the plumbing. He's got a big spade. He lays pipe. Oh, sorry, we're, we're coming up to the, to the end. So, um, so come on, come on. You said no both ways. You wouldn't want to do it to your boys either. I don't think I want to marry any lost misses. Not one, two. What do you? If, no, like you no. fall for the person. No, I'd, I'd, my respect and honor for you would would overall. Okay, but it's simple. Uh, Wahala doesn't. Not only does he not mind, he would. Him, I would mind. Okay. Simple Simon. Me? I, I think it depends on which one of the mandem it is. Okay, which one would you be happy to bang their wife? Scanner, bro. <laughs> Why are you putting it like that for? Yeah, no, sorry, bro. sorry, 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 <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. You're right, you're right, you're right. You're I did right. buy you you're a right. patty, bro. Because uh, don't answer that question. <laughs> is that enough? Don't answer that question. Don't answer that question. Is that the currency these days? <laughs> patty, you know? I couldn't even stretch a whole meal. Looking like a crème brûlée. Patty for numbers. Mad. Boy. <laughs> Don't answer that question, Super Simon. I'm sorry I put it that way. Just for, so, for, just so in, our, in essence then, by you saying it depends, you would say that it's a potential. You could yes, yeah, 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 yeah. And vice versa? Y- y- huh? would, would you be happy with one of the man's them being with your widow 20 years after, after I've died? Oh, yeah, yeah, after I died, I don't care, yeah. Okay, I, I, I wouldn't want either, Stavros. So. What, why? Because if, I, so if your missus is actually happy with the person and they like that person, You'd want them to find somebody else. In his death, he'll be thinking, "So what? Did you like her all the time when I was alive?" <laughs> no, I just, I just, I just be sitting next to the devil, saying, "Why did this happen, bro? Let's discuss this." <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I don't know because I've, I've, I have said that I've told my missus even if I, something happens to me, then go by all means go out and find somebody else. I've told her this already. So from what now, when you're asking, what, what if he's one of your boys? I'm thinking, nah, man. So, yeah, so so I'm, uh, yeah, I'm still, still going to stick with that. Yeah, so same so thing. There's, there's a caveat to that. Go and find with your love. Yeah, I'm not expecting it. Go and find love somewhere, but not not anywhere close to me. Yeah, it's the not, same not as when I'm alive. The same, the, the same way that a lot of a lot, I think you people said that you know, could you be with somebody that's had uh, relations with some or somebody you know? And I think we've all said, I think we've all said, as long as they're not too close, then we could have done it. Yeah, but I'm still alive then. Yeah, but, but yeah, go on. so. I want to ask a question based on what you've just said. Um, you know, in traditional culture, there's this idea that um, when a woman marries into the family, that they become our wife and not just whatever. And yeah, then yeah. if the husband dies, then the brother is next in line um, for... There are some sub subsections of our, uh, even our culture, yes? Yes, that does this, well, yeah. when, I mean, when I say, oh, I mean Nigerian, I don't know if it's my tribe, but yeah. Yeah, so if in this scenario, mm. if... Then your brother was then to would you be all right with that? My brother, yeah. After you've died, <laughs> my brother. After you've died, well, hold on. yeah. No way, bro. I don't know. I wouldn't know. Out of all the all the men, yeah, <laughs> wow. he's the worst. Why am I the worst though? I don't like the way that you deal with women. So I wouldn't want you dealing with. You my don't like, like the way I deal with women. Yeah. Let's let's expand on that. God, what, what does that mean? I don't like the way you deal with women. In what way? I just, I feel that, um, are you sure you want to go on this on the podcast? We can talk about it after. No, I, I, I want to hear what, what you, what you, what you think uh, what, what is the thing? I, I, okay, put it this way. I'm, I'm going to be diplomatic about it, so I don't push me to, to, to put it in another way. Don't we can discuss me. it another way. I, I, the, 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 the things that I say I do, and you look at me and say, why would you do that? Yeah, when I'm talking about my wife, when I'm talking about Mad Cat, and I said I do this or I say this, yeah? Just think of one thing I say I, I do. Not something that when you bring up, wow, why do you do that? And I say, you know, I shouldn't have. One thing that I say, yeah, I'll do it. And I, I'm, I'm proud of doing it. Like, be brutally honest. Okay, when I say that, I tell her things that you would say, why would you tell her that? Yeah, and I say, yeah, I tell her. I want her to know this about me. Let's say, um, all right, my, my missus knows all the, all the women that I've banged, even the ones that she sees all the time. Yeah, and I tell her that this is somebody I've done something with, or I've done something with her. And it's like, why would you push it in her face? Yeah, but I would tell my missus that. So but, I don't understand uh, what you're talking about. Well, okay, then when I give you this scenario, then don't scratch up your face for me to have to uh, rack my brain. I think even you guys have seen there's times where I said I've done something to my missus, and he said, why would you do that? Would you, I can't think of a time, but there's bare times I said, I said this, or I did this. Okay, okay. I'm saying that that has happened. I don't want to dwell on it too much. So Um, you think I mistreat my woman? Not mistreat her. I said I don't like the I don't like the way you treat her. Your your woman likes it, or your women have liked it in the past, and you like it. That is your relationship with your 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 partner, and you're cool with that. The same way that you feel I'm, I do certain things with my partner that you wouldn't do with yours is vice versa. So I wouldn't want. So I then wouldn't want you to come and do that with my partner. The way you said it at the beginning made it sound like I was mistreating women, but fair enough. Like no, 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 no. Well, yeah, yeah, there are okay. 
there are certain ways that I think I just think there's certain things that I do that you may have a problem with and I always put it that I wouldn't talk to my wife in any other way it doesn't compute for me to say it or do it in any other way because it's condescending and you would say well why would you say that why would you do that would most people agree with me maybe I think the answer is probably going to be yes I'm saying maybe so you can then change you don't even know what I'm talking about and then you're going to say but I know what the answer is but you said the way that you would talk I'm assuming that you're saying I put things in a in a I I sugarcoat things whilst you add in fact you just don't add anything you just you just you basically give them un un sugared um, tea refined yeah and I give them sugar tea put it this way yeah you know what you're saying we we were discussing something earlier on before we started recording where I was I was I was I I knew you were going to go back there somehow yes but just I'm not even going to mention what it is but but I wouldn't necessarily have told my wife what I told the actor Does that make Does that make sense? No. Excuses and reasons. You they, they, uh, no, don't don't have to. Yeah, I, it doesn't people, matter whether unless, we have unless, to. Unless people know what we're talking about. Is, no, I'm talking. No, end of the day, I don't think anyone outside of this podcast cares about this bit. This is what I didn't want to talk about. This you wanted to talk about it. So don't now start telling me how I'm going to talk about it because nobody cares about me and my brother and and this specific part of the conversation. Well, apart, what apart, apart from apart from leaning over there, the, you know, leaning over the table like, ooh, these two are talking about how they deal with each other's relationships. I'm just saying that what I said to the actor, you guys said that I was going down this, this road instead of just giving the blunt thing. And I said, I wouldn't have told my missus. I would have gone down that road to my missus. So you, you, you put sugar in the tea for, for webs, but you wouldn't put any sugar in your wife's. Because he's the girl. Oh, that really doesn't make sense. <laughs> so your woman is a man. She's, she's built for life. I'll, I'll say that. She's not she's not a man. So you're, but she doesn't you're have condescending to the women by saying that women need to be sugar coated. Y- yes, of course. If uh, that by definition, that is that is being condescending. If you sugar coat something, you're that is no, I'm saying you said that you said to him that he's the girl, so you're saying that women He's the girl, man, of course he's the girl. So I, I don't think you understand what I'm saying. Anyway, so I'll leave you to, to get, to you're get clearly an idiot. Oh <laughs> no, <laughs> no. So I don't worry. Keep I understand what you're saying, and I feel that most men when they say they they have to deal with their women in a certain way that they don't deal with their boys and you guys have said it before so you can you can spray it all on me but we don't talk to us as men as we do to girls because most women most not some most women don't want to hear the way that is put case in point that conversation we started off the, 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 the thing with and most of us all of us men said we would have asked that question what is it you're talking about and I know a lot of black women would have been happy with the fact that you even have to ask that question. You should know, you should come with some sort of like common sense. Think of, think for yourself and answer with some, some respect for us as black women. So we pacify our women more than we would our boys. And you're saying, well, Hollywood would pacify or not pacify if he was with your missus after you passed away. One man can pacify uh, her. I won't argue with that. <laughs> man, remix it to one time. <laughs> I won't argue with that. What if your woman preferred the uh, person that would be pacified? She Okay, and and if she did, I'd be disappointed in her. So I would. In death, this man is still forty. Yeah, disappointed well, in death. Well, you can say we can say whatever, but at the end of the day, I have to worry about it. Imagine she's sleeping at night. He, I'm disappointed he would be the he would be the literal term of turning in the grave. Why did he have? Yeah. When we buried him, he was on his back. Now yeah. he's on his front. <laughs> see, see Stan was out here. The ghost of Christmas past. <laughs> I'm disappointed. Yeah. Oh, one man can what question did you have that you were going to ask, Wala? Oh, okay. It was a quick thing, yeah? Yeah, it's right, never so a quick thing. Well, they, were talk, a quick they were thing talking about you, banging on holiday, yeah? Oh, this on free shots. Pick up free shots. Right? Uh-huh. They were talking about banging on holiday and one of them said that one man, they were all, they, let's say that we all had a room. All of us had uh, had a house and we all had a room each, yeah? Mm-hmm. And then, um, I don't know, uh, what's his name? Mr. Wolf came. He didn't have a room with us. But mm. Our four men had a room. But you four had a girl no, so you three had a girl and Mr. Wolf had a girl. So yeah, so you four had a girl and I didn't, yeah? So, but he comes back to our house. Am I then inclined to give Mr. Wolf my room and leave that establishment? Of course. The only thing is, if it's like filthy, dirty, skanky holiday and she's happy to bang in the corridor or in gutter. No, no, no. This is not, this is not taking it. The, he wants your room. He wants my room or wherever's room it is. Yeah, to bang. Am I then... Inclined that I have to leave because it's and it's in the middle of the night. When you say leave, you mean leave the whole hotel? Basically, well, I leave the room in it. Leave what the I room. Do? Leave the room for the bank. Is your room 
It's your place that you yeah, paid but, money for. But do you yep. have like a, a lounge or something? No. There's no lounge in the hotel or that. Oh, you can go outside of the hotel or you can go outside on the street. But can you go is in there like, no front room with a sofa? You can't go in the front room. You have to leave that room. That that room okay, is, but is, is there a lounge downstairs? Yeah, you can go downstairs. Yes, yeah, so I can go to the lobby. Yeah. Yeah, you're, that's your job to leave that room. Oh, wow. You're not inclined to do it, but it's entirely up to you. you to. Should, no. should the man them do it? Though? Of course he should. You for the man, for if the it's team. the man them, yeah, you take one for the team. And, Everybody has to take one for the team. It can't be. It can't be like this is a uh, like let's say it's a two week holiday and he's found his wife for that two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> he can't just nah, take nah, over nah, my nah, room. Nah, nah. But if yes, one, you one go, night, yeah, one night yes. only. <laughs> One night only, one <laughs> night only. Yes, but yes, uh, but that one night, that room is no longer yours. You shouldn't even okay, have to ask. You should just look at you. Yeah. But for me, by rights, you're the cameraman. You're, you got to film all of this. We're making a DVD. Shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> after, after talk of us, man, side about had Bush. Let's let's not go into. What? You're the cameraman. Wait, hey, imagine, yeah, imagine there were camera phones in them days. Oh my! You're God. the cameraman, bro. Oh, oh, go on, oh, no. Is that your real answer? Yeah, you're doing five five different scenes for a DVD, bro. Okay, <laughs> you're gonna get it on on uh, the, the thing as well. You go ahead. I'd film it. No, what are you what are you doing? I'd give him up the room and I'd say, "Can I film?" Why you wanna film them, man? <laughs> Bruh, why not? Which one would you love, man? DVD special. Stavros Bus is not co signing yeah, the Yeah, Wilder is not co signing the filming business. It's a holiday before. special, man. We've got <laughs> no, memories up no, in here. No, it's, I didn't say I wanted the film. I said that he's supposed to be the cameraman. Eh? <laughs> you're going to an next. No, bruv. Simple. You're like, yeah, you can come in, but you're filming while I'm begging the girl that you're bringing back. <laughs> simple, 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 simple. You believe that the room should be given up or no? I'll give up the room. I'll, I'll give but up. do you believe that's that that is your that's that's like man law basically, uh, or is it just because you're a nice guy? It's because I'm a nice guy, isn't it? It's man law. Let, 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 man let law. me tell you how much of a G this other guy was. Yeah, he gave up the room, and the man did what he did. He was beaten, finished. Yeah, charge man. Isn't so it? the man, but he left and had to walk around the, the area for some strange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. came back. He yeah, get to the room. Banging. They were still in the room sleeping. I don't think. This is what the man did. He picked up his wallet, apparently, put the wallet outside and slept on the wallet as like a pillow. I said, that is a, oh, that is, that that's is the G. ultimate wingman. That's right? what you're meant to do. Yeah, that's the G, right? That's ultimate. He, I will wake you up. There's he, no way I'm coming no, back to my room he, after hours. He hours failed for leaving the wallet in the room in the first place, to be True. honest with you. Yeah, especially if, yeah. yeah. Because there's certain places you cannot leave your money around when yeah. you're banging these, yeah. uh, these, uh, yep. boy. <laughs> yes. Do you remember? Ah! Do you remember? Do you remember? Yeah, you know what? We gotta start telling these stories, man. All right, so we're laughing. I, I, I'm, I'm, the public. Let me tell you what happened in this story. Yeah, no names will be told, but we went away somewhere. Oh, yeah. We went away somewhere. Are you uh, even gonna say where we went? No, we went away somewhere. <laughs> and one of the man- there was it. Nah, it wasn't. Was right, we went away somewhere, and one of the man them must have found the lady of the night. Yeah, a lady, lady of the night. Of the night. All right. Not only did he sleep with the lady of the night, yes. they destroyed the bed. Oh, yeah. They destroyed the bed and the lady of the night fell asleep in the house. All right, alongside that person. Mm. Or should I say in the same room because the other person didn't sleep in the bed with them. And uh, <laughs> there's video of them snoring. There's video of them snoring. Yeah, so <laughs> so wow. a video wow. was a video was made. A video was made. I told you. Right, right, right. But, 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 but this is where you describe was a G. I told you. <laughs> We, 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 we'd also like to state that the man didn't pay for this, by the way. This was a free thing. This message will self destruct. Uh, he, 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 uh, he got freeness from the prostitute, so it was free. Mm. Got he bang. But just to make sure that that person didn't steal anything from them, he stole her bank card. Bad man. And kept it. So then, if anything ever happened that she had stolen anything, he had her bank card to get the money back. Mm. We then saw her in the street later on in the night. He then said to her, what are you doing, man? Look, there's your bank card. I gave it back to her. I said, this guy's real. That was one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> no, but what the point here was, he checked that nothing was missing first in the yard. No, he he he, he took it as a precaution. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah a precaution. As a precaution. I don't know if this something has happened. I'm, on, I'm not 100% sure. I was a bit wavy. How are you still from a prostitute? So I'm taking this just in case. <laughs> that is how paranoid I am. Man stole from this a just prostitute. That's a move, man. That's how I salute him. Nah, but that was that, that was is that is not even the legendary one from that from that that. That, that is trip. not. It's not. It's the, just other, not. the other one was even is, more legendary. It's the legendary bit. What other one? You don't remember the other one. You don't remember. No. Well, no. do tell. Okay, so man must have moved to the lady of the night. Yes. Told the lady of the night that he's a man of the night. Yes. And that they really shouldn't be exchanging money for this. <gasps> don't you remember? No, the person wanted money, obviously, for doing her job, and man said, 
No, <laughs> I'm a gigolo. They argued about it for X amount of time. And then the gigolo, and then basically they, they waved each other's feet. No! <laughs> <laughs> no! Yes, yes. Uh, both, that- both. Professional courtesy bangs. Yes. Oh, that, that was the greatest Any finesse. Wow. That, was, that, <laughs> that was the greatest finesse I've ever seen in my life. That is legendary. That's legendary, man. And when, when I'm talking about my crew, yeah, this is, you can you might be looking down on it, but this is why I love my crew. Because <laughs> I've, nice. I've got tears in my eyes. That's a move. And we did a contra deal with... The, sorry, I say we because I'm including myself in the conversation. I don't know why. It's the proverbial we. We did a contra deal with, with, with the lady of the night. No. Yeah, bro. Now nah, that video still kills me to this day because that snoring was. Im- did you, did you not know about the country deal? I'm gonna call it the country deal. I kind of think I remember now. Episode. I remember now, but the snoring thing was the best thing for me because the guy, the guy that was, the guy that had sex as a prostitute, he he wasn't sleeping on the bed. He was sleeping on the chair with his feet up high on the bed, like he was at peace. That's what I can't <laughs> understand. <laughs> and she was just snoring down Jeez. the whole house. Enjoyed herself that night. Yeah, she got. She, well, she, she slept well. Yeah, they broke the bed. <laughs> they broke yeah, the she bed. She slept well, didn't it? <laughs> they, the, when when we came back, yeah, the, when we came back to the room, the, the people, the engineers, was fixing the bed. Yeah. Like, ay, ay, ay. <laughs> 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 and I didn't know what's going on. No, but do you remember? Do you, I think it was our room. Do you remember when man came back to our room and he's like, right, I can't go in the room. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he came back to our room in the middle of the morning, like, I can't go back to that room. That same trip, I woke up and somebody, because we, we were sharing rooms, innit? Yeah. And the person that was sharing my room, he left. And then, he, bruv, I don't know how any girl sleeps with you, man, because that snoring that you do was so deep. <laughs> I couldn't sleep. He said he couldn't sleep all night, he had to leave the room. You cussed me as well, yeah, for you snore, bruv. <sighs> You all snore, man. It's a long thing. Anyway, let's go. Let's end the show. That's that's the end of the show. That's the end of the show. That's the end of the show. <laughs> Contra deal. We need to start telling them stories, man. There's a lot of stories in the past, boy. Jesus. These are blue tick That's stories, man. Stories. Yeah. All right. Um, so let's do our social medias and our church notes. Let's start off with Simple Simon. At Simple Simon FB on Twitter. I have no Instagram. Get at me. Get at me. Um, I don't know. I haven't really got any big recommendations. I'm stuck on this tune, uh, Jumpy, Jumpy Remix by Ambush with Chipmunk, uh, Skepta. Um, been playing that. And there's another one by some guy called B Young, 079 me or something like that. I, I'm kind of hooked on that one too. Go and check those two out. It's all UK vibe, UK music. Um, definitely on the rise. So yeah, go and take, take, take in that. Peace. That actor. What's good, people? Uh, D-A-T-A-C-T-O-R is the handle for Twitter and Instagram. My recommendation, uh, what I'm watching at the moment, which is really kind of good, I'll recommend this to you as well, I think I did, Stav, is called The Green Room. Um, We were talking on the subject of comedians and how real they are and their take on certain things. So The Green Room is basically a room full of comedians talking about... Variety thing? No, it's not variety. It's... uh, something else I can't remember okay but okay sorry sorry for interrupting but uh, yeah it's four to five comedians sit down uh, in in what essentially is called a green room and they just talk about their career and their lives and being a comedian coming up as comedian it has it features on it Rain Pryor who's Richard Pryor's daughter and George Carlin's daughter who I can't remember her name um, so they're legends obviously of comedy, comedy. Mm. so it's a good thing to watch so watch that and also, where's it? Where, where can you catch it? Is you it can catch it on YouTube. And okay. also, I'm dying up here, which is uh, a comedy satire show, no comedy program, which is about the 60s and 70s stand up era, comedy era. Okay, so you're about that laughing right now, huh? I'm about that laughing at the moment, yeah. Yeah, big wahala at big wahala insta at big wahala on Twitter. Um, shout out to Travis J that was on our show last week he's got a live show coming up on the 27th of September it's £5 it's at the Angel Comedy Club so big them up and I think it will be if, if you're listening to this on the Tuesday that this gets released on that following Sunday on the 5th of August uh, off the cuff I've got their live show it is somewhere <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where it, I'm trying to find out where it is. <laughs> it's that place in Shoreditch, and the week after the uh, them man there, them man there have the, I think it's these the bug or something like yeah, that. Yeah, same man. venue. So one week on the fifth, and then on whatever the week after the fifth is, mm-hmm. you got uh, on off the cuff. Sorry, 
and them and they both have their live shows. Uh, it's in the Va- Don Vach or something. Siegfried, yeah, Siegfried front and the belly, yeah? Right, yeah. So get your tickets for the on the cuff show that's coming out on the fifth. And then on the 12th, you've got them man there at the same place. Live yeah? show, live show. So listen, we're not even affiliated with them man there in any way, shape or form. We haven't been on their podcast, they haven't been on ours. But as I said, we need to all link up and make sure that we all support each other when we can. So go and check those man out. They've got a good podcast, fantastic podcast. Listen to them and, and, and go to their show. And as you know, Foles and the Vans have been on our show. We've been on their show. Uh, I've got a lot of time for them, man. I, I'm, it's their first show, their first live show. Go and support. Cool. Um, Stavros says this week is the segment where I big up uh, somebody or something and I uh, promote them to you and this week is going to be uh, my bedroom and friend of the podcast Nikki Stylus DJ Nikki Stylus Boombox Therapy yeah she has a show Boombox Therapy on what's the name of the station man Behind the Groove, Behind the Radio. Groove Radio. Behind the Groove Radio. It's Nikki Stylus. She plays different types of music. She's uh, been around since original Slackfest times. She was original Slackfest member. Um, she's just good people's man. And uh, I listened to her show uh, this week where she had an interview with a couple of reggae people. And I'm not reggae uh, music. Uh, ladies, yeah, uh, British reggae artists. I'm not a big big reggae fan, but I realise I need to know the difference between bashment and reggae and dub because I do. I'm cool with dub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the music that these two ladies were playing. Sorry, I don't know their, their names actually. So I should pick them up really as well. I didn't mind some some of it was cool. It's like I was me and my daughter were dancing to it. It's like oh, this is good. I was in the bathroom and I listened to my home girl interviewing these and she was playing the songs. I said, okay, I can do with. I think it was. Reggae, mm-hmm. and I was like, "Oh yeah, this sounds like the stuff I grew- like." I was hearing from the Caribbeans that I was ha- parring with mm. back in the day. The stuff I hear now is oh, da, 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 and people are jumping off umbre- uh, umbrellas yeah, that's, and stuff. That's bashment. Oh uh, yeah, I, I, that's the stuff I don't like. I, like this one, I can understand what they're saying. Yeah. You know, it's b- much more mellow. So you know, let me not be too harsh on the on ladies. Were Alicia Scott and Tisha Makeda? Yes, I don't think you said the second one to be wrong. But anyways. Uh, big up Nikki Stylus. I'm proud of you for doing doing your thing. She used to be on radio a long time ago, and she's come back, and she's she's pushing the thing. So it's uh, what's the name of the st- station again? It's Boombox Therapy Behind the Groove Radio. Behind the Groove Radio. You can find it on TuneIn, and uh, you can also search for Mixcloud for the for the songs. And it's Boombox Therapy DJ Nikki Stylus, friend of the podcast. Salute yourself. Slack for life. And yours truly, DJ Webslinger, was on one episode of Behind the Groove as well. Thank you very much. Was it? Yeah, I don't even know. Well, you don't care about life, so. so. <laughs> well, you should have promoted that, though. Exactly. It? You need to tell no. people what you're doing with your life, man. Just listen. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, you can catch me at Stavros Boss everywhere. That's Instagram and Twitter, even though I don't use my Instagram. And uh, you can catch us collectively at ESN Podcasts all over the interwebs. On Facebook, search for Eloquently Say Nothing. Please use the hashtag ESNPod, ESNPod, when you are discussing what we are discussing, what when you're talking about what you heard on the show. And we will find it after people stop playing with their phones, and we will find it and talk with you. Just remember, it was Big Wahala and the actor that were impersonating black women with the head shaking, finger snapping. Where did the head shaking come from? Us. Listen, the, women, the people couldn't see it, but I could see it in front of me. That's what you were doing. It's really bad. I'm just disappointed in the, both of you as brothers. I've, I don't see black women as, uh, like that at all. Are you trying to say because you could do it better? Is than that, that alright? Simple Simon. Cool sign. Uh, yeah, I think that was terrible. Terrible. So, Despicable you know, behavior. Yeah, so if you want to get at them, get at them, please. I'll co sign whatever you need to say. Yeah. I dare any of you to get at me. <laughs> In fact, don't. Uh, yeah, so that is another episode done. Please rate and review us on Apple Podcasts. Uh, we love to support. Big yourself up. Peace. Oh, sorry. Shout out Mr. Wolf, who couldn't make it today, who told us 15 minutes after we were meant to record that he couldn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> he is uh, aka Mr. Wolf on Instagram and aka underscore Mr. Wolf on Twitter. Uh, so shout him out and uh, hopefully he'll be back on next week. So... Yeah, so thank you. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, if you ain't saying nothing, say it well. Slag for life. I think I know you some somewhere, maybe. <laughs> what song is it? The same 079. Oh, so it sounds like a bachelor thing? It's called 079. It's a, it's a song called 079. Call me. 079.
07 now. Yeah. I remember that. Who? If you like me, 07 now. Yeah. Oh, boxing. It's the same number I've got now. I haven't changed my number for 20 years. 20 years and these people change their number every five seconds. 20 years. You're, you're the youngsters. <laughs>